Learn, let's learn about this problem that we're facing. Um, we are recording now. Hello, it's Tuesday again. Okay. Um, I'm joined by everybody. You know them. Um, Everyone. You know what? No. We're here. I'm going to give you legit shout outs. Um, uh, Crikey as Falvin, the Medusa Rogue. Wow. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> Davey as Shade, the <laughs> Leonin Echo Knight Fighter, aka Tiger Lawyer. Uh, Matt at as your <laughs> wait, what? At your service. Uh, his services are for hire. Um, yeah, has this ever happened to you? Um, <laughs> Matt as Theagenes, our uh, spooky dead boy um, warlock of the fates. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And Tim uh, as Theo, our uh, artificer um, slash jack of all trades uh, slash zinger guy. Um, and, and, and of course, uh, Gray as Megus, AKA magic is awesome. AKA, uh, you have deleted my, uh, <laughs> ship attack encounter. Um, yeah. Which happened last Fourth time. Fourth level bullshit. Fourth level bullshit. Let's hear about it. Um, I think Matt, you had been voluntold to do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I don't get a start. I was just pushing it out there, you know? I I don't get to start with the fourth level bullshit. I have to start with the yes. the uh, possession bullshit. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so we started last session with Shade having been uh, possessed by Estor, and uh, we we tried various things to figure out. Uh. Uh what was going on um if i remember right the thing that clued us in was uh well first clue was the fact that little baby groot uh was ups kind of weirded out by uh shade mm -hmm. and and then um uh somebody who was it uh, noticed an australian accent i think it was tim yeah which Theo. uh Theo, which uh, was I, I felt really expertly, um, expertly done. It was not overbearing. Yeah. Which, in fact, it, I didn't even notice it at all. <laughs> so someone rolled a twenty on perception, and it was not Daniel. And um, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so we uh, let's see. Yeah, it's real easy to be overbearing with an Australian accent, but that wasn't. Um, and then there was some very technical magic stuff going on with messaging of various kinds. Um, the first was to, uh, what was it? The physical, something physical. He had to do something physical to return a, uh, a message and Shade was not able to do that because he was possessed. Mm -hmm. And then there was another kind. What kind of... Mm, uh, sending. What kind of sending? Sending was the one that goes directly to the person. Is that right? Mm. Yeah, and, and does not and, require any components to respond. And does not require components, which allowed, um, which allowed Shade to respond to him, which definitely clued us in. And we alerted one another. And let's see, I, with a little bit of prompting from the, the, um, oh hi, Iris. Would you like to share something too? Hello. No, she just wants to unplug my USB cord. Of course, she always does. Of course. Don't you? Yes. Okay. Um, what was happening? Oh, I clued everybody in with my psychic messaging. And then uh, with uh, Daniel's psychic messaging, Daniel prompted me to, <laughs> to use protection against good and evil, which uh, restrained the possession for a little while and allowed us to tie up shade. Uh, and um, Estor tried to keep the charade going for a while, and we weren't having it. And I don't remember what eventually broke him. Uh, Kyra like expended a lot of her divine energy and. Like, oh, that's right. That was very important. Him. Yeah. Yeah. She she purged him, and um, and we got control of the ship. And honestly, I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> you technically don't have control of the ship. Like the ship is still oh. going the way it's going, um, but Estor got kicked out of Shade's body. Oh. 
So there's still nothing about being in control of the ship. Nope. Well, so no Shade Shade is now at the wheel, and he's like able to sort of maneuver a little bit, but um, not able to completely alter your course. Okay. So we have some influence over the ship, but we can't stop it from going. Yeah. Um, all right. At that point, I think, was when the ship encounter started. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, like a well, storm. we did some resting. Uh, you, you spoke to the uh, Eltria tree that had woken up. Um, right. And, and I told it we'd take care of it, and it smirked or smiled or something. Yeah. And then the ship started to attack us. Um, we started to shoot it with ballistas, and that was all very exciting and consequential, except it wasn't because <laughs> <laughs> after we had partially blown up both ships with expert ballista shots, they were then um, deleted by um, by Magus. Who <laughs> Just a chunk of the awesome. water biome didn't load. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is my purpose? <clears throat> That's right. That's what all of us were asking. You load the ballista. <laughs> I am oh the my ballista God. loader. <laughs> I'm the ballista bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> and uh, then uh, Daniel, possibly out of spite for having his nope. entire encounter deleted, nope. Nope. <laughs> caused <laughs> caused a sea serpent to attack us. Out you guys, of you guys got it all wrong. I told you last time <laughs> that sea serpent was already going to much. be a part of the encounter. Now it's just the and only this, part instead of uh, added well, to the ships, essentially. I guess and we'll this, never know. Went from, went from yeah. being the side character to the main character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. So this totally uh, not retconned um, uh, sea serpent, net, uh, not Traconicus, is what I'm calling him. Okay. Uh, his name's Chet, his, but all right. Oh, Chet. <laughs> um not Redconicus is his species name. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But his name, his personal name is Chet. It's yeah. Latin for made up. <laughs> or not made up. Yes. <laughs> and, and it's now lying across the entire uh, uh, deck of our ship. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to fight it. Hell yeah. Um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I feel like you doubted yourself unnecessarily um, I, I did and I still do <laughs> no you did great um, I, something I will point out not anything you missed but this is just contextual information that actually Matt you may not have uh, is that the ships were flying the flag of uh, a mercenary organization called the Black Hands of Kentamane, um, which is kind of odd because they are like settlers you know they're not they're not they're not fey peoples, and so they probably wouldn't worship Kentamane. Um, but they were hired by a, uh, a slave master in Mitros, uh, and they were kind of the main people bringing in new uh, new minotaurs uh, to the markets in, in Mitros to sell um, into, into bondage. So um, the party and they has... already just so happened to be on our hit list. Yeah, party has major beef with them, um, and us and, theirs. And yeah, yeah, because they basically beat their uh, their leader to a pulp, um, or not their leader, like their prime uh, like client, I guess. Proximo is he doesn't he doesn't own them. He just pays them a lot of money for their services. Um, You're right. I did not know or remember any of that. That's okay. That was from before you joined <laughs> up, so um, you would not have known that. I just wanted to make sure you knew why they were here and why the party is like, fuck these guys. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, okay. Um, well, let me jump back into um, exciting action-y music because that's where we are. Uh, was it any other, any, other, any other notes before we jump in? Oh, what, what do I get as inspiration? I feel like I uh, You something. get a, a die of inspiration that you can roll. Um, Oh, I was really liking the the, the descriptive features <laughs> of the show. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I figured they served their purpose now. With the, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> we got Come it for the on, thumbnail. How, we got it for the thumbnail. That's all we need. How am I supposed to know where I'm supposed to be? 
<laughs> or not supposed to be. Uh, okay, yeah. so where we are now, uh, the sea serpent um, is up on deck. Uh, Theo had just taken his turn um, by firing a ballista bolt at the captain of one of the ships as it was plummeting into the void of water that Megas had created. Um, the two ships, <laughs> <laughs> the two ships are colliding with the the bottom of this hundred foot deep uh, chasm of water, um, surely taking a ton of damage. Uh, the fires on their decks have been put out, but they are they are capsized. Although you guys probably can't see much of this because you're cruising over them at this point. Um, you don't know if there are any survivors. I know at the end of the last episode, I'm like they're all dead, but like I told Megas. Uh, before the episode started, I was in shock. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> realistically, most of the people on board are dead, but there are a few that may have may have survived. You don't know. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna kick it off. Uh, it is the sea serpent's turn. Um, what, what, what? It is? Well, it's got an yep. initiative of four. Come on. Yep. <laughs> That's that's Jumped just on at the end of the round. <laughs> he did, yeah. Um, is that which his I, legendary action? Hold on, let me let me double check. Um, our our see, rogue has it's... this one thing, this one thing <laughs> that he does at the beginning of every round, and it inspires us to be better than what we would have otherwise not been. That's, um. That's, that's... <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do this to you. Um, okay, <laughs> but I, as part of its, with that. as part of its <laughs> deadly fall, which is what it's yeah. doing right now, um, right. it uses an action to land uh, in a space that contains one or more creatures. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do that, do that to you because um, you guys are on like an elevated position, and uh, but it is gonna do damage to the ship directly. So um, it's going to do uh, 96 uh, plus eight damage. Um, That's a big boy. So that's gonna be 40 damage to the hull as the sea serpent uh, careens uh, through this wall of sea spray, lands on the deck. Um, it does have little feet, so it can move around. It's not very fast. Um, <laughs> uh, Falbin and Theo, since you guys are up on deck right there, I'm gonna give you guys a free, uh, uh, a free like intelligence check of your choice uh, or perception. So like perception, uh, animal handling, nature, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, Sweet. I would like to. No, yeah, I, I, I would like to validate. My my nature knowledge of what this is and if it has weaknesses and, and I see these things all the time. They're basically birds without wings. Okay, <laughs> it's not that hard. I know all about them. Twenty three wisdom. How could I not? <laughs> That's yeah. How could you not? Um, <laughs> what twenty seven? Twenty seven <laughs> nature. He used to ride that thing. I mean, it's basically a Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> so, Theo, um, with your perception check, um, you can see that um, uh, it is getting a gauge of its surroundings. Um, it's it's out of its element, um, but it knows where you are. You can see it 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 knows your presence, um, and you guys are a lot closer than the people on the other end of the deck. It's probably going to attack you first. Um, Falvin, uh, this is a sea serpent. Um, you know that they are kind of related to the dragon family. Um, they are not like dragons, I don't believe. Um, but they have some similarities, um, which means that they might have a particular damage type that they are like resistant to, um, or deal. Um, so just be careful. Um, Do I have any sort of a sense from I'll, my, I'll, give, I'll give you more than the that. knowledge about like how strong it is? I'll give you more than that. Um, so this is a gargantuan beast. Um, I mean, it literally covers the entire width of, of the deck, and it is doubled over on itself. Like it's what a punk. 
what a punk, yeah. <laughs> um, this thing is not very fast, but it can cover surprising distance just because of its own body dimensions. Um, you can tell based on the color of it, um, if it does share enough similarities with dragons, um, this might have some lightning abilities. All right. So yeah. Um, okay. Uh, and that's uh, that's it. That's its turn. So uh, we're going back to the top of the round. Falbin, you still go first. We're keeping the same initiative. What you doing? <clears throat> well, I'm going to throw my dagger. <laughs> Get to it. All right. Pull out my manacles. I'm going to wrestle it. Um... Wrestle him to the ground. <laughs> 22? 22, absolutely hits. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, how about for nine? Okay. Um, I don't believe you have sneak attack, but um, nope. you, will, you will do that nine damage to it. Um, you find a little soft spot between some scales. Uh, your dagger draws a bit of um, kind of a, almost like a deep blue blood and returns to your hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, you know, uh, I'm gonna throw it again! <laughs> okay, 19 yeah. Did. 19 hits. Uh, okay. 11 extra piercing damage, cool, cool. And, uh, I'm a little bit worried. Um. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. The, you said the turn order is respected. Okay. Um, it is. <clears throat> if I if I sneak down the staircase, is that a is that a opportunity attack on the part of the uh, sea dragon it, serpent thingy? It will be. How wonderful. Um. So. Cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually take a few steps back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like go over here. Okay, cool. Um, you're, you're not gonna take an opportunity attack there. You would have had you gone downstairs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I'm done. Uh, you are done. Um, as a legendary action, it is Sweet. going oh, to. Um, nice. It, let me make sure the distance. It's gonna nom nom. Okay. It's gonna um, spit. Uh, no, no. So you see, uh, you see, um, between the little tines that run down the length of its back, you see yeah. little static charges begin to build. Oh shit! Um, and uh, the deck is wet. <laughs> the deck is like soaking wet with with water. Because yeah, because the water. For those just got electrical displaced. engineers yeah. who may be on this call, I don't give a shit what you think about how water conducts electricity, especially seawater. In this case, it's gonna zap you if you're standing in it. So I love it. <laughs> uh, don't at me. Um, I need uh, <laughs> Theo and Rue to uh, please make a, uh, a dexterity saving throw. Uh, you're looking for a 13. Uh, I'm assuming Rue is flying, so he doesn't need to, to make it. Dexterity? Dexterity. Saving. I'm so dexterous. You're so dexterous. Okay, you pass, and Falbin. Oh, you need me too as yep. well? Also, you. you sh are you sure you need it? <laughs> nah, you're um, you're good, man. You don't need to. <laughs> it's a pretty big radius. <clears throat> I'm not having Magus roll it because I think you're you're a little further. Oh, okay. Would you like so... to inspiration that? <laughs> no. So, okay. um, Falbin, you're gonna take 24 lightning damage. Um, Does uh, evasion apply here? Uh, uh -huh. If it's a Dex saving throw, I believe, yeah. Um, okay. So then it'd be 12. Okay, and uh, so each of you take 12 uh, lightning damage. Uh, okay, so um, Shade. Do do I take 12 as well? Yes, yeah. you do. Look at hurt. Barely injured Valve. Shade starts running. <laughs> okay. 
it's so a long dash way. Is just double my double my movement. Right? Yep. Mm hmm Oh man, there's no run action. <laughs> There's no run action. Can, is it... can you summon your shade like 20 feet in front of you and then swap and then? Yeah. Move? Can you can you dash then summon then dash then summon? No, no. <laughs> no. What I can do can, is can you re summon your it. My bonus action be to put my shade 15 feet in front of me, and I'll go from there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I'll end my turn. But no, in in three five, there's run action where you move quadruple your speed. It's a wow. full round action. Wow. Wow. I see why they. I wish I, I wish I could do this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, but, okay, yeah, that's my turn. Love it. Um, Diogenes, you see shades sprinting ahead across the um, god incredibly long length of this desk uh, deck. Um, what are you doing? Did we determine that my uh, my ballista is loaded right now? Uh, neither of them are loaded. Neither of them is loaded. Right? Okay. No, oh, his oh. should be loaded because I loaded it after my turn. You loaded That's that That's why one. I was standing okay. next to his right. his ballista. Right. Okay. Because so... Shade was about to run to the other end of the ship anyways in case we got <laughs> boarded, but then fourth level BS. <laughs> so yeah, Theagenes, your ballista is loaded. Um, however, it is not aimed, which does take an action. And so does firing. Yes. Okay. Hmm. And um, can we, is there any way you can show us where this uh, uh, highly conductive water is on the deck? I mean, the deck is completely drenched in water. So anyone who walks on the deck is going to take lightning damage? No, no, no. So it was a it was a radius around the uh, sea serpent, and it was just a pulse of electricity. It's no, it's not still electrified. But it could do another pulse. I'm assuming. You don't know. Well, I said I'm assuming. <laughs> um... <laughs> Fair well, point. you can assume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair point. You, you may. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to dash to uh, my okay. lovely 60 feet there. And um, I think that's all I get. Well, hold on. What's my range on Hex? Probably not enough. Um, I, no idea. Um, let's Hex see. has a range of... Can, you can see within range, which is in 90 feet. 90 feet? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that might be. That's pretty far. Yeah, that, I, uh, I, I, I'm like yeah. 95 feet no, away. No, no, no. So it's got a pretty big um, base to it. I, okay. I'm going to give it to you. Come on. It's like, Yay, what, five foot difference? Come on. Don't say I never did nothing for you. His Thank adrenaline's you. pumping. <laughs> he can get that extra few feet. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm hexing it. Hex away. Uh, I'm going to zoom in now will... that you guys are on a smaller area. Hexametaphosphate. Do you know what that is? Nope. Essentially salt water. So it's very, very oh, appropriate here. Oh my god, that's cool. Hex. Just. Mm -hmm. Hex. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm going to hex its strength. Okay seems to work okay sweet uh let's see his strength is hexed i'm just gonna mark him as weakened nice uh okay was that an action was that your action that's a bonus action because i action? dashed oh because you dashed yeah. okay i think that's yep. all you do um yep. uh and now megas Okay. You so you so at hear. The end of my last... um, I'll just say what you run downstairs and like you're hearing the screams <laughs> like falling beneath you, um, the incredible splashes of water uh, down beneath the ultras, um, and then you hear this incredible slam on the deck and shit's popping off up there. And I will just yell, "I'm sure you guys have got this," <laughs> and I will use my action to maintain the the part water that I initiated as we are still passing over it 
Um, and I just kind of move a little bit, you know, more securely uh, down beneath deck. Okie doke. Um, all right. Uh, yep. Theo, you and Rue. So that ballista on the other end of the ship is loaded. It's on loaded. The far side. Loaded, okay, but I not probably, I should probably run over there and shoot that. It's only 150 feet, right? <laughs> Efficiency. You have missy no, stuff? Huh. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Come on, guys. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> what I am going to do... <laughs> I'm going to give him the musket. Give him a musket. This is okay. gonna be. This is gonna be great. Oh no, we lost Matt. Oh no, we lost Matt. We a, should probably re-roll. He nine, missed that. So a nine I, to hit. I think I mean, he should be. I you got luck should... points. You got luck points. <laughs> I I just want to make sure that he sees the roll is all. No. <laughs> um. Also, uh, I think yeah, it's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like it. I th I feel like okay. I don't know if we can make this decision on the fly. But I think it's dumb that you don't get to add like your intelligence modifier or something to your since it's a like literally a magical like I don't know like for for being your primary weapon you only having a plus one to hit, attack with it kind of sucks. Um, anyway, we'll talk about that later. Nineteen absolutely hits uh, uh, as your shot rings out. Fourteen piercing damage. Very nice. Yeah. Take it. Max damage. Nice. Take it. Very nice. Well, it's almost dead there. now. Almost yep. dead. Hey, you guys should go back to the other end. I got this. <laughs> you don't. You don't need to be running over here. <laughs> Thanks, Magus. Thanks, Magus. Just uh, <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Pardon the wave. <laughs> oh, gonna... not to be undone, but you're gonna. You're gonna pull a Titanic. I think. I think. I think sitting on the, on the dragon's head is the best. <laughs> are you actually? Position. Are you actually? I think getting further away is a good idea. Okay. I was wondering what Maybe his not. purpose was Maybe not. at the end of last <laughs> last game. But this is here. You go. <laughs> Maybe not. He's bait. Um, <laughs> what I'm actually gonna do is jump to the lower deck. Um, Can I do that? So the staircase uh, will put you in range of an attack of opportunity from the sea serpent. Um, oh, I don't want to be attacked by somebody's opportunity. Oh, that's going to be If you painful. want to try to make a climb check on the outside of the ship, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds like Last a great time. idea. Yeah, last time that didn't end so well. Well, Magus and, has climbed the outside this, of the ship. Well, that's Magus, and magic is awesome. He did it with just okay. his hands. He also that's has. What, the that's what all the magicians say. He, yeah, that's, <laughs> he did it with his hands is what they all say. But what we're traveling over this abyss that he's still parting right now. So if I fell mm -hmm. over right now, it wouldn't just be into the water. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna just step <clears throat> back a little bit, um, hmm. kind of nestle down over here. Okay. The way I the way I do. Just kind of nestle. So like bait. Just nestling. Yep. Don't don't need to read into it. Uh, cool. And then I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, he's, Rue's gonna get in on this, of course. Go Rue, that's a hit. I love this guy. Look at this. Max damage. Woo, nice room. Chain. Very nice. 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 Put that on my tombstone. <laughs> yeah, is almost he, dead now. Is he going to fly yeah. anywhere? Is he staying with you or flying? Um, he's going to he's going to like come even further back. <laughs> and, <laughs> okay. and, and kind of get underneath this so that the the it's like on the underside of the dragon head. But yeah. Basically anything that'll make it so that the dragon doesn't kill him in one shot. Okie doke. It's kind of what he's what he's, he's going nestling. for. Maybe maybe he's hanging like a bat underneath the the dragon's chin. Yeah. Okay. And it looks like a goatee. Like off the everybody just goatee. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a dragon goatee. Perfect. Um okay. Uh sea servant's <laughs> turn. Uh can somebody please roll a D six um to see if a certain thing recharges? Alright, here it is. Here it is. 
Wham. It does not recharge. Look at that. No, it doesn't. Oh, good. Yeah, good a certain job. thing. A certain thing. Yeah, not that it matters. Not that it matters. Yeah, um, if it were to recharge. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so uh, it has a movement speed of 20 feet. Um, Falbin, you um, are the closest creature to it that has done damage to it. So yeah, it, I is, have. it is going it. to slither up um, up to the four deck or whatever it is um, <clears throat> up to you. <clears throat> and um, I guess I could turn it around Love it. for dramatic oh, yeah, effect. Right. Yes. Look at that. We are, we are. Get in that mouth. Chin to chin. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, it's gonna bite you. Um, so here that comes. It lunges with its real big mouth. That is a dirty 20. Cool, Filthy. cool. I agree, filthy. Um, okay, uh, you are grappled as it uh, clenches uh, its jaws around you and you're going but, to but, take... But, but, but there's a thing. Objection there's... thing. Oh, what there's a the one. Heck? Uncanny dodge, does it matter? This? You can half the damage. It's not gonna affect the grapple. Um, the escape, well, there is an escape DC, monkey. which you will roll on your turn. <laughs> All um, right. Did yeah. you roll it with disadvantage, Daniel? Um, why was is it, it why does it roll a disadvantage? Is it strength? Is it strength? Is it strength? Is, is it strength? It's not is it a strength. strength. He's it, been hexed. Shit. It's not uh, strength. You are automatically grappled and you have a DC to escape on your turn. <clears throat> okay. Okay. It's a gargantuan creature. It really doesn't have to try. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, literally it just walks over. So Falbin, you're going to take half of this damage, which is going, the, the total Sweet. is, um, is 12 piercing damage. Um, so I take six. No, no, no. Twenty-three is the total. Um, you gotcha. take twelve. <clears throat> okay. Um, and you are grappled and restrained. So um, that's all it's gonna do. Um, back up to shade, or Falbin. Falbin. Sorry. Oh. Um, if you would like to try to escape, um, uh, you can make a athletics or acrobatics check as an action, and the DC mm -hmm. I'll tell you is twenty-one. Uh, actually, well, um, what does what does hex do? Because hex only affects ability checks. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I think I think it uh, wouldn't. Any ability checks it makes that involves strength. Okay, so that's not going to affect this. Um, it does not involve saving throws. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. I mean, I am I am very acrobatic, and you know, this isn't my first time being this close to a dragon uh, creature. <laughs> So Is it? I'm I'm yeah I'm getting it yeah uh, <laughs> hello I oh, mean, go. 27 shattered Bye. episode number 40 <laughs> yeah um, uh, 38 minutes in <laughs> um, I love you guys I, I, yeah I'm going to acrobatics uh, out, right out of this situation sounds it's good. gonna be great 21 shoot for a 21 oh that's a 22 nice there you go yeah. Oh, okay, um, you are able to just barely uh, pry yourself, or not pry yourself out, slip out uh, from between these fanged teeth. Um, okay. You're hurting. Um, that was your action. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> um, then what I am going to do, how far, Where? where am I? How far, how far? I, I'm gonna use my bonus action and teleport with my boost of the winding path to the lower deck staircase. Can I do okay. that? Um, yes. Yes, you can. Um, all right. And then if I try to go downstairs, is that attack of opportunity? Or if you try to go downstairs, that? it will be an attack of opportunity will be you say it will be you it will um, um it would be or you could just like teleport mm. somewhere else on the deck right i can only go 15 feet oh that sucks <laughs> that's, really, that's really unfortunate almost almost oh, there man. i feel so uh, bad for you i'm i'm gonna actually just <laughs> stick where i am right now um Ooh. yep where is which is where answer? uh i teleported 15 feet to the lower deck right okay. next to the staircase so you're just at the stairs so I'm like and at you're at not... the foot of the staircase 
Got it. Gonna stay there. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, what could go wrong? Right? <sighs> One thing. Dragon takes a legendary action and eats Theo! <laughs> eats Theo. <laughs> um, what is this distance? 15 feet. Um, I mean... Theo is kind of right there. Um, no, he's not. He's not right there. <laughs> he is. He is over there. Um, it looks like he's right there because he's so big. But like, he's split. over there. I'm split. How should we decide? Because um, I was going to have him uh, make a um, a legendary action. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. Now wouldn't be a good time. I can roll a two sided coin. Yeah. He just got up here and you know he's what? Super he, tired he actually doesn't that need to make a legendary action. Um, we'll just move on to it. Shade's turn. Love it. Love it. Cool. Love it or list it. Because he only has like <laughs> movement based legendary actions yeah. right now. Yeah, what yeah. a punk. Yeah, he yeah, he wouldn't need that. He's tuckered out uh, after that leap. Alright. So my echo will move thirty feet. I will spend fifteen feet and my bonus action to swap places with it. Nice. So that's back there. And now 15 more feet. And it's still way over there. Um, 35 feet will definitely put me at it. Uh, um, I don't want to do this. I have faith in you. Uh. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run up to it. See where's it? Yeah. I like right to think that you like slap its behind when you get there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here, sailor. Hey. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll stop one one hey. spot back. Hey. You're it. Excuse me. There. Um, you seem to have uh, my friend. Uh, all right. My echo will disappear, so he's just I'll just move him over to the side until I can resummon him. That works. That's um, my turn. Diogenes, shade is still charging forward. What are you doing? I will move forward 30 feet. I will not charge this time. I'm going to stop here. Um, and let's see here. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we get technical. Good. All right. <laughs> um, okay, I am going to... Um, I'm going to cast Ralithin's, uh Psych Lance. Wow. And I'm going to make it roll a four on its save. Oh, because you have a um, like a... Uh, I, have, I can do that once, already. guys. Sick. Yep. Lance him. Lance him. I don't know what that like spell does, but... It's gonna uh, well, it it's going to do 76 psychic damage and incapacitate him. What? I like this. Holy That's shit. a good it spell. <laughs> it chains, right? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. <laughs> if, if it works, then it... Let's see... Um, we'll make it work. It's incapacitated until the start of my next turn. Damn. That means it can't take, I think, actions or reactions. Yeah, so if you guys knock me out, I think I, I don't get another turn, and no. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I think it would be the same. So, so you're forcing it to fail this save. I'm forcing it to fail, so it will take 7d6 damage, Holy shit. and it will take an extra 1d6 necrotic because I have it X, oh and it will be incapacitated. Oh my I god! I love this guy. I I have always said it since the day he got here. I've said, man, this guy he's got potential. Number one party guy. I feel like he's got some rage spilling over from the last boss fight. I think so. <laughs> right. I'm going to get all the deeps in right now. <laughs> uh, so, okay, uh, so go ahead and roll that damage. If I just do 7d6, does that I mean, do can it? you not can you not cast the damage from your spell book like Oh, five? from the thing. Let's see if I do that. Okay, and then we can on. read the the amazing glorious the flavor text. details. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, from the spell book. How, do I click it there? Yeah, there should be a little die icon on the left-hand side of the spell title. And ah, click I that. see it. Okay. Yep. That spell. Mm-hmm. 
you unleash a shimmering lance of psychic power from your forehead at a creature that you can see. Do you have a big forehead? Dude, it's it's okay. the it's uh, the firebender from Oh it yeah. is! Sparky Sparky <laughs> Boom Man! Sparky <laughs> Sparky Psychic um, okay, yeah. So, um, ooh, if you know its name, you can target it even if you can't see it. That's cool. Yep. Um, what? So they make an intelligence what? saving throw, which they fail. They take 76. Um, okay, go ahead and click the button that says damage in the chat. 19 psychic damage. Is that all? Yeah. Did you did you, did you want to use an inspiration? You can't do that. Can I do this? No. It's only oh, slightly below average. So yeah, average, okay. average damage yeah. is 21. Well, hold on. I'm also going to roll a d6. Oh, yeah, for that damage. extra hex damage. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Get one more and roll. <laughs> now, hey, yeah. nice. Yay. Another five. Here we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> well, He's the dead. point is it's incapacitated. Yeah, that's huge. That is huge. huge. I agree. Not no, as, not so as that, big as oh him, but... God. Uh, this That's might be game. play the game, like I'm already saying it. Um, okay, uh, anything else? Bonus action? I don't think so. Okay. Um, Magus. We're still passing over the hole, so I'm just still constant, you know, keeping that, uh, keeping this kind of control water up. And okay. that's returned. Cool. Um, it's, I. I <laughs> It's so funny that I told you you can't play for the next two sessions, and you <laughs> you you are yeah. playing. Like I want everybody to know, if Megas stops doing this, those ships get shunted up to the bottom of the Ultros's hull, and that's mm-hmm. not going to do a little damage. It'll do a lot of damage. Um, Theo, you are um, what's the word you said? Saved. No. No, no, like <laughs> nestling, or what? What did you say you were doing? Uh, you know, just uh, relaxing over here. There was a word you used. Do you guys, do, you guys don't remember down. that specific verb he used? Nestle. Is it nestle? Okay, I thought it was nestle. Yeah. You're Nestled. Nestled. Uh, we long rested since the last fight, right? No. You're talking about the ships? No, we went straight from ships. No, to... no, I'm talking about the boss before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh huh. You guys had a nice okay, long sleep. I, I should have this. Decent. And I can, I can walk all over this guy now, right? He's yeah. You can see, um, he's just like, just tensed up, and like his eyes are still moving. Um, he, I, oh, I won't say he's that... paralyzed, um, but, you know, he's uh. Oh, that sucks, His brain man. is um, scrambled. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> give him a little, give him a little pat as you pass. Pat, him. Oh, you, you poor guy, you. <laughs> uh, so thirty feet. That means next turn he's gonna be able to do something, right? Yep. Yeah, so you should you should run away. I should. should... So <laughs> he can't do anything until until. Um, well, I guess he can Mine. make a legendary action, but technically, I don't think he's going to be able to attack until after you go next turn. Yeah, but he would get an opportunity attack. That's if true. Theo moved from there as well. That's so true. that's true. Uh, so you misty so stepped. I would advise I moving further I didn't... away. Yeah, I didn't. I have misty step. I oh. haven't misty stepped. I've just walked so okay. far. That's my thirty feet. And then if I misty step, I wouldn't stay I there. Or you could just use your thirty feet to dash. Yeah. And get farther away. But I can yeah. do so much damage. <laughs> yeah. Or you could be in a place. I'm gonna where you survive. Die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choose life. <laughs> choose uh, life. And that is my turn. I don't get bonus action or anything with that. I think right? Misty Step was your bonus action. I did he didn't misty do step. Misty Step. I, I'm sorry. I keep. I, uh, I walked 30 and then no, I dashed. No, don't you remember? You, you Misty Step. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know you want me to use that, but I'm not going to. You, you Feel free. Throw a bo- I, They're not my rules. <laughs> bonus action if you got it. Okay, so we can, we can bonus action as well. You can always bonus action. What is... Are you sure about that? I have expeditious <laughs> right? feet and I've never used it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, maybe you should sometime, Theo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say I bonus actioned. 
uh, expeditious retreat. Mm-hmm. And then that's that's a free dash, right? Yep, for, gives, you, uh, gives you the dash bonus? action. Um, okay. The first time you cast it, well, I guess it's a bonus action every time, and casting it costs a bonus action. So, yeah. So I can still shoot him then. This is really important, because I think he's going to die with this next shot. You, <laughs> so you're right about one thing. <laughs> I, I think this is going to be the one that does it. See? I mean, I it's a 19. 19. That does hit. I have Third, the right nice. angle of attack. Really just popping off. Done. Ooh, look at that. Popping he off. dropped down to the next um, health category. Ooh. See? Injured everybody. You're welcome. <laughs> Man, MVP. Uh, I'm going to... Mo show. I'm going to have Rue stay way the hell away. We've learned. Uh, and then... <laughs> uh, Storm. Oh, 21. Yeah. Oh my god. Rue, what the change in tax tactics is my really what you can out for Rue. <laughs> really is. I love it. Really is. All right. Okay. Uh yeah, I I don't know if there's anything else I could have done. That was pretty That amazing. was a very efficient optimized turn. Hell yeah. Um <laughs> So it's the sea serpent's turn. Uh, it can't action or reaction, um, but if somebody would please roll another d6 to see if the thingy recharges. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I That's got you. it. I like the way you roll. Check no that. recharge. <laughs> see? Keep rolling. Do you guys, do you guys like, you like rolling for the monster's recharge? We love it. Yeah, cool. Especially when it keeps having these results. I won't yeah. love it when it's not the result we want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. At that point, it doesn't matter who rolls it. <laughs> uh, Falbin, you're at the bottom of the stairs, um, and you could you can see that the sea serpent is like not really taking actions. Um, so you feel you feel free to move. So snap it in the butt. I have a question. Yeah, I have a question. Um, there's a house rule about how uh, surrounding works, flanking, as it were. Right. Would you say that he is flanked? Um, I recognize it's a judgment call here. I mean, I tapped him on my way way through, you know, and Shady. He's in he my threatened him. range. I would he say, I would say, yeah. I mean, you you only get plus two, right? But mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, seeing that Magus is shouting encouragement from the basement, and Theo <laughs> is fleeing. Um, I'm gonna just take my knife and I am going to plunge it into the side of the dragon while I am here and scream, at least you get some! <laughs> 26. For 20, 28 to hit. Oh, your oh knife. Oh my god. Oh, strikes true. And uh, this is sneak attack. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, no poison. So that'll as, be 24. As... Oh, as deadly as a good comeback. Nice stab. I mean, I tell you. Nice, nice, as they say. Cuts deep. like a knife. Um, and then, and then I'm going to uh, adeptly go to the other side. Of you like parkour <laughs> yeah. over over yeah. the yep. tail of the. Yep. Are you, yeah. are you gonna look at him coyly? You could. And then, uh, <laughs> it's a free action. And then yeah. I'm going to. Uh, hmm. Can I? I think you have Sorry, bonus action still. And yeah, I, and I need to pull up my sheet about a thing, real quickly. Mm -hmm. I should have looked at this already, but I'm I'm lazy. You got cunning action. You could do. Um, if if I drink the potion of heroism as a bonus action. Uh, let's see, potion of heroism. Um, you get. Uh, well, did I, all the goodness oh, happen? That's, that's, that's Can uh, I do that? I think okay, that's, action to drink. I think it's only for healing potions. Cause, okay. Yeah. Because we, we, we've had this discussion we, before. That, yeah. That so it's a it's an action. Any, any other drink. potion takes an action. Yeah. Okay. Um. Because yep. I'm good with that. This is this is one straight number. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Good so question. I fling my dagger at him. Again. Minus five. Twenty one to hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eleven more. Take yeah. it. Take it. <laughs> 
I ain't done now. <laughs> oh, this snake. This sea serpent. Um, shade. Rawr. You have a, a so saying, mountain of sea dragon right in front of you. Get me my my echo back. All right, and I'm gonna target, and I'm gonna start chipping away, oh, chipping away at that mountain of sea serpent. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Where's my God? That where's psychic my, lance. My blade. Uh, Seventeen hits. Ooh. 16 slashing damage. Oh. Spraying this deep blue blood. Another attack with a 17. Oh, yeah, same same roll. Hits again. Yep. For another 12 slashing damage. Chopping away. And I will use my Unleash Incarnation to attack from my echo a third time. <laughs> 23. Time. Jesus. Um, uh, for another 12. Damn. Oh, look at, oh, look at that blood. <laughs> I'm going to go smoke it if we got them and action search. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> God damn, okay. <laughs> I'm worried this... about this guy now. What... <laughs> uh, four... Is that... Are you, you good with 14? that? That's, that's, yeah, I was going to leave it. That's a miss. Okay. But you still have another attack. Yep. <laughs> 26, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, he's gonna be mad at you <laughs> when his turn comes yep. up. <laughs> uh, uh, it's thirteen more. Thirteen. And just check one thing. What could you possibly have left? <laughs> whenever, yeah, whenever you take uh, the attack, I will unleash incarnation again. <laughs> mm. Holy crap! I don't want him to have another turn. <laughs> I don't think I can put him all the way down, but oh, ooh, that's not oh, one. Oh my god! I will use an inspiration. Okay, on that fix one. it, fix it, fix it. I mean, you you can't do much worse than dirty that. Dirty twenty, dirty twenty hits. Uh, Jeez, this DPS is terrifying. Um, <laughs> for another fourteen slashing damage. Oh man. Yeah, that's just six attacks in one round so yeah That's... i think i think i'm done <laughs> wow um just full speed ahead um you did you had them and you did smoke them um okay uh theagenes <laughs> your spell is working wonders <laughs> he's creeping he's creeping he's moving you're you're muted, by the way, Matt. If you didn't know. Oh, you are muted. Oh, he knows. Oh, there we are. Okay. Oh. So, it was he needs to focus. Okay? He was in character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to shout actually. Oh. Uh, that I can't hold him any longer. Um, so it, take it, it care. And then I'm going to. Hmm. I think I'm going to... I'm going to chill touch him. Um, so that's a... That's a ranged attack. Great. Yep. Okay, so I'll just... <laughs> Funnily enough, it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> chill touch is a ranged attack. Oh, yeah, attack. it's not touch range. Yep. Yeah. No, no, like, exactly. like I, Einstein spoke about this. This is spooky touch Ein at a distance. <laughs> Einstein <laughs> talked about D and D. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. Man, that guy did everything. Um, a seventeen hits. Yep. Mhm. Mm okay. And then we will roll for damage. Normal. Did I do it? Uh, no, I, didn't I haven't gotten it yet. Uh. I did it. You clicking the damage uh, text yeah, I, in the chat? Yeah, I clicked the thing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> okay, so, it's, so uh, 
nine, nine plus... necrotic, then I get another d6. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, roll that. It's a 13 Four. necrotic damage, and I believe it can't... I'm helping! Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, and I think it can't take reactions, or is that... No, that's shocking grasp. Um, it can't heal? It cannot recover heal. Uh, it cannot recover HP, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, it's all those healing potions on its belt are just going to waste. Okay, um, I don't know what it has. <laughs> no, you never know. Um, <clears throat> cool. Uh, anything else? Um, nope. Okay. Um, uh, so it now has the ability to take reactions and actions. So um, it is going to take a legendary action. Oh. We yes. just lost Theo. Oh, oh, oh no. Um, well, this doesn't involve Theo. Um, <laughs> uh, it's going to take a legendary action and try to leap off the ship. Um, what? Uh, now I will I will <laughs> post this just in case it matters. Um, this is called a swish of the tail. Um, and uh, let me make this public. Uh, the sea serpent performs. Uh, oh, it doesn't even say what it does. Okay. Um, nope. <laughs> Uh, it costs one action. What, what it does is um, the sea serpent can move up to its speed, which is 20 feet, without provoking opportunity attacks. Now, does that uh, does that interact with Sentinel? Because um, if it doesn't provoke an opportunity it's... attack... Yeah. Okay. It just it, The only thing that's singled out is the disengage action. So if it said that it, it, it acted like disengage, then I, Sentinel would interact with it. But other than that... No, because Sentinel is specific to disengage, even if they take the disengage action. Okay, so wait, so does it, does that mean that you can try to attack him? Unless no, unless it says it acts like disengage. Oh, like okay. if it links it, if it, if no, your ability it, links it to disengage, then no, it doesn't. Yes, but otherwise, okay. no. So this guy is <laughs> um is not happy, and uh, it is it feels like it's made a bad decision you get the feeling <laughs> it did not intend to land on this ship it perhaps it was <laughs> leaping towards another smaller ship um that suddenly disappeared out from under it <laughs> um and it found itself in the wrong neighborhood so to speak so um it is going to move 20 feet off the side of the ship so 5 10 15 uh 20 I, I'm gonna say that that puts it like right at the edge of the ship. Like it is, it is not, it is not in free fall yet, but it will be moving off the ship on its next turn. Um, if that makes sense. You gotta put it down. Quick, kill it. Uh, Megas. <laughs> uh, by my calculations, we're about halfway over the hole by now. So I'm just gonna <laughs> keep doing that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> There's and a I made it. <laughs> ship in a hole at the bottom of the sea. Okay. <laughs> oh, Theo. Uh, my power flickered, so I am trying to get everything back up to running again. Uh, you say he's moving oh, power to the out. side okay. of the of the boat. Yeah, he is like preparing to dive off the edge of the ship. Uh, which side is he? Is he on the side that I was on going off that way, or is he on the other side? He's on the side that he's like on. No, the other side. He's on the other side. Okay, so he's still. Oh, your stuff is still coming up. Way. Sorry, he's on the the yeah. the northward side. I guess the upside. Okay, the upside down. Yeah. He's on the port side of the ship. Okay. That's You're currently. Oh, um, now I know. All, all this coordinate direction <laughs> nonsense. I got port though. Uh, <laughs> You're 30 feet. I think 30 feet away. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna do what I what I've been doing. Shoot him. Shoot him with the with the with the things and the stuff. Um, the stats should be somewhere in the chat if someone can hit those. It's not gonna be me. It, yeah, can't be the DM. If if I miss the shot on your behalf, y'all are <laughs> not gonna finish exactly. that shit. Falvin, I choose you. <laughs> Look at that. Here I don't I know am. if it'll let us roll for you. I though. can't open your sheet, so I can't oh. I can't do that for you. In the chat in the chat you can't see the dialogue that says no. attack and damage? 
One no, moment, I'm scrolling are... past all of Shade's attacks. <laughs> no, that will take a while. Um, <laughs> let me um, let me give temporary ownership of your sheet to um, to Crikey. Then they'll see all my stuff. Okay, there you go. All right, so as my first action, I want to work on the shambling mound stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we must Let me get... just see, because the salt. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I mean, you have to. I, I'm going to shoot it with my musket. I mean, okay, you got good, it. good call. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Well, 23. Is that, does that hit? Yeah, yeah, it is. That, that strikes him. All right. 16. 16. Does that do? Max damage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Theo's like, you can be my wingman anytime. Uh, you're, yeah, you're, you're allowed to roll for anything important for the rest of the evening. You, so you've good. given that poor serpent zero recharge. You've right. given me max damage. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and, and then and then what else do we want to do? You got you got Rue. Uh, yeah, but we yeah. got a bonus action too. I mean, mm -hmm. well, let's not get crazy. He's running away. <laughs> we don't want to do anything too fast. Nothing. Too uh, crazy. Probably probably pull back a bit and uh, yeah, like five let feet. Rue you could let you could Rue, hunter's uh, mark. You didn't, it's, I should have done that first. If I I mean, if you want to like recon that you did that first, that's fine. Uh, all right, we'll retcon it for that one d6. I'm a generous. We'll retcon it. We'll Who retcon knows? It. You might kill it. Yeah, I want to get that loot. I know Falvin likes to gut things. Sure does. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> one damage. <laughs> Excellent. But look at all that extra blood that just went flying. I know. Wow. Must hit a vein. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Uh, Rue will also attack uh, mm -hmm. at range, maximum range, with a pinion storm. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, just click on Rue. Wait, are, and then... do, you, do you have the game up yet? Are you in control yet? No, I'm still okay. working on. Okay. Oh. Well, then I think I think there's a bonus action. We're oh. gonna try. To, we're gonna cast uh, Dragon's Breath because well, that needs to happen. <laughs> I no. You have to be touching <laughs> Rue, I think, to do that. Yeah. What? Yeah, that, that's why it doesn't need to happen. Well, Rue does. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. Okay, I think I, I think I could open Rue's sheet you now. Just a second. Pinion storm. It starts with a P, <laughs> ends with an S. <laughs> you said piercing screech? <laughs> Absolutely. Do some psychic Please damage. Please don't Shut cast down. piercing screech. It's... <laughs> 11, 11 to hit? Um, I mean, you could inspire inspiration it. And add five if you wanted. Are you ca are you casting? <laughs> uh, hard to find it, good help. Uh, your opinion storm misses. Yeah. Unless you want to so, inspiration it. No, that ain't worth it. It's only one DC. Sorry, Rue. Is there anything you want to do with your bonus action? Uh, no, I think that'll be all for my serving. Well, there Try it is. bring out some water, that would be good. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Sea Serpent's turn. Um, it, uh, spends its, um, spends its movement to, um, leap off into the water. I get an attack of opportunity! You do. <laughs> Uh, Make movement hit. zero. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Twenty-three oh, hits. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-three hits. Um, yeah, with uh, with your blade, you like, you like knock part of the tail into like a piece of rigging, and it like hooks itself, um, and does eleven damage, reduces its speed to zero. Um, it's not happy. It doesn't like that. Um, it is its turn so um somebody please roll a d6 i forgot to uh oh yeah yeah i got that. that he's got this he's rolling i'm back that's a two um already uh let's see who's he in range of um nobody um echo oh, the echo 
Yeah, sure. Technically, it's a somebody. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's hit him. <laughs> it is. Okay. <laughs> Look, bitch. <laughs> 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 um, here he comes with it. So it's like hanging off the side of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 25 to hit. Um, uh, just barely. I think just the echo <laughs> goes away. Um, yep. Uh, but it spent its action to attack the echo. So um, back up to Falbin. Yeah, that was actually kind of a big deal because now I don't get sneak attack. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, it was gonna be gone <laughs> if that hadn't happened. You should you well, should probably yeah. charge it. Like once that I, thing hit the water, it was it was gone. Oh, <laughs> like, I know what you should do. Gone. You should you should you should turn him to stone. Yeah, petrify him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. petrify. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's probably got like a really low save. Uh, <laughs> what was it a con what save? Like, took, like, what a real what like, a real snake looks like. It's not like yeah. it took ten minutes to petrify a rat. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. that was a long. Bringing the rat into this? <laughs> oh, a bag that I've been practicing with. No one even knows while they're sleeping. I get no respect. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm, 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 I'm throw, I'm throwing the dagger. I'm just, yep. I'm doing it. Twenty-six, easy. Or twelve piercing. And uh, oh, um, wow. bonus action, 25 to hit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dirty 30. Oh my. G or, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a 30. A dirty 30? Or 25, yeah. Oh. 11 more. 11. That, that, and that, uh, that, that is my turn. Holy crap. Um, you okay. jumped on the wrong boat. <laughs> However, it, it has its legendary actions back. Uh -oh. And it's about yep. it's about to die, so it's going to um, leap off the ship. Um, now I'll say, since that's just a legendary action and it only moves up to its speed, it has not swam away yet. It is like now it is impacting the water is, right now. At at this point, are we still in the? Is the water still a massive trench? Is he going to take damage? Uh, no. No. The, the, the trench is about uh, uh, on the other side of the mast by now. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, so he's hitting water like 30 feet down. Yeah. Gotcha. So shade. All right, I'll move to the edge. Throw your, throw your glaive. <laughs> Summon your echo right next to it. Just, just Seth, jump Seth. off after it. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> I mean, actually, it's me. <laughs> how far down is it? 30 feet. It's 30. It's you 30 feet down? It's perfect, it's perfect echo yeah. distance. Cats always land on their feet. No, my, my echo, I can only summon it 15 feet away. Summon oh. it as you fall, like halfway down. Yeah, come on. I mean, in theory. Commit. Commit. <laughs> I mean, I can summon it and it can move, and its move takes no action, so I could move it within range. And I think I will do that. So I'm gonna move, summon it like right over the edge of the ship and move it straight down 20 feet. Uh huh. And now I'm within range, <clears throat> and I can take my, my attacks through my echo. God. In, a, in an alternate <laughs> universe where what is happening exactly <laughs> there, there's another ship there <laughs> cool Take it. cool uh, actually i want to select me for this attack otherwise it messes up my my modifiers there we go 27 yeah <laughs> 14 damage oops eight Okay. And still, it's still alive. Last. And that's a critical oh, hit. Yes. Net 20. <laughs> Let's check the damage. <clears throat> oh my. 25. God. Um, not gonna do it. Um. <laughs> It is bleeding profusely. This this ra rushing water is uh, just, it's like an oil slick of blood across the top. And then one more attack for my Unleash Incarnation. 
I really <laughs> followed by a critical fail. You have another inspiration? Yeah, do you want to? Oh, I'm not gonna spend my last inspiration on it. That is so I'm gonna material. leave it material. Okay. <laughs> That's Oh. That's um, the way it goes. Okay, theatrics. I did everything I could. <laughs> okay, so where do I can I see it? You know where it jumped off the ship, so you 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 can follow where it will likely be. So you you'd probably okay. just run to the edge of the ship. Yeah. Like if I run to the edge <laughs> of the ship here, mm -hmm. you can see it. And that puts Okay, I can see it. And um I am going to <clears throat> um, I'm going to toll the dead. Okay. This is an injured creature. And so that... Um, I think it has to... It has to do a saving throw. Okay, wisdom save. I don't think it's very wise. Nope. I mean, it jumped on this boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nine, which is a fail. <laughs> okay, so it is going to roll for damage. And Ow. still hexed. And Didn't still that have hexed. been 2d12? Yes. Oh, yeah. Been. Yeah, I don't know why, why it rolled like that. Yeah, you rolled 2d8s. Um, you can re-roll that with d12s. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to do versatile. Oh, weird. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Versatile rolls the two d twelve. Sorry. Okay, cool. No, you're good. Um, so that's eight, and then go ahead and roll that hex damage. Much better. Much better. That's <laughs> six of hex. God. How does it <laughs> die? Are oh, you yeah. the Agenies MVP? All right, I think that um, just like around its head, there should be a ripple of water spreading outward as if a, a very loud sound hmm. happened uh, in its head and sort of, and it just, it passed us. Yes, yes. Um, as that blood is like pouring out of the holes uh, where its ears are. Um, um, the problem is not over because you guys are moving and mm -hmm. um, and you want to keep this thing. So um, so we're, so we're going to drop out of combat. Plan. No, actually, we're going to stay in initiative because um, I'm assuming you guys want to try to keep this, right? Absolutely. So we're so going to do some spear fishing <clears throat> with this ballista. Mm -hmm. I'll give you guys I'll give you guys like boy. a like a quick minute to like to like strategize what you what you want to try to do spear fish yeah, like, come what, on what guys. theo says like, rope to the ballista yeah, definitely and rope to yeah exactly uh to to this ballista at the front of the ship uh yeah if you we went to the back would we be able to run faster than we're moving um how fast Not are really. we moving? <laughs> it's like 60 feet it's around 60 is feet. what we yeah yeah um Okay, yeah, so um, we'll say that in order to affix rope to the ballista, we'll take an action, load it, action, aim it, action, fire it, action. Okay, guys, I'm going to need help with this. <clears throat> On it! Lend so, me your actions. So the first up would be, um, well, Magus. I'm busy. Busy. Um, so Theo, you and Rue. All right. Uh, I'm while I'm walking over here, I'm fixing, uh, getting the rope ready, and then when I get here, I'm fixing the rope to the ballista bolt, getting that that ready to go. Rue is, is swooping in, the way he does, <laughs> and he's loading it. Okay, loaded and um, tied up with rope, and then oh, um, yeah. Falbin. So it's and this is going loaded. to take two ropes. 
Will it? Will it? Uh, because at the end of the round, it moved 60 feet back. Oh my god. Oh, right. Okay, so so I guess we'll add and one the action. And 50 feet each. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we still need one action to tie, and then one to aim. So we have three actions remaining. Um, so Falvin. Hmm. Um... Well, I'm going to move. 30 feet. I'm inclined then... to, like, let you use cunning action to speed this process. I am as well. I am as well. I feel like that's reasonable. <laughs> okay. So if you want to use your cunning action, that will let you tie the second rope and, um, uh, and aim it. Then I'm doing that. Uh, Mike, I'm so cunning that I realized we need two ropes. Yeah, uh, and yeah. I, I tied wow. them together with my cunning action. Uh, <laughs> and Megas and is downstairs like, ropes. I literally just told you that. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, yeah. He's, not get, he's not getting any credit. For the Megas sorry. can't see <laughs> anything that's happening. <laughs> he's chilling in a hammock downstairs. Um, okay, so Falbin, you get it loaded and finished tied up. Um, Shade. All right. Uh... Shade, I can basically jump up on here from the deck, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Well, you're a tiger. All right. All right. So, I can get till there, and it's loaded, and... It just aimed. needs to be fired. Aimed. Yep. All right. Fire in the hole. Tiger liar. Tiger uh, liar. Go ahead and roll an attack roll. Uh, that's that plus seven to hit from the... Uh, um, yep, I'm pulling sheet. up the ballista sheet now. Where is it hiding? In Can I use my genius? Oh, it's not that sheet. You, what does Flash of Genius help? let you add to? I thought that was just um, like saving throws and stuff. I don't know. I I feel read like this it. could be saving something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not. It's, it's, well, why don't you read it? <laughs> it's not just sitting in my in my sheet. It it's on your sheet. The... It's under features. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm look. I'm literally reading it right now. <laughs> DM is trying so hard to not say read the fucking manual. <laughs> read the fucking manual. So okay, but so it, when you make it when a when a creature you you or another creature you can see within thirty feet makes an ability check, which do, which is an attack roll or a saving throw. So yes, you could add your intelligence modifier to the attack roll. I want to add my intelligence. Cool. Um, so Theo, we'll say that like that's you aiming it just even even closer. Like like uh, like Falbin gets yeah. it aimed and then Theo leans in and like nudges it just nudges a little it. bit more. Oh my! No. Twenty seven. Um, I think the, we're good. The ballista goes right through the throat, um, piercing out the other side uh, with the broadhead of the of the um, of the bolt, um, and then. Uh, the slack starts to come out. Um, uh, Theogenes. Now you might want to tie the rope on to something. We already did. It's it's attached to the to the, the thing here that the anchor's on. The doohickey thingamabobber a windless. that Theo would know. <laughs> what is it called? It's called a windlass. A windlass? Mm -hmm. You made that up. That can't be right. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> that can't what be right. it's you mean the little like sea of thieves like wind up the chain thing? No way. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I've literally been in that room on an aircraft carrier. <laughs> well, this is a this is a ship. <laughs> this isn't an aircraft carrier. You <laughs> win. It's this is a wind up thingy. This is a this is a serpent carrier. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Theogenes, there's still a chance that this could go <laughs> south. And also the fact that you guys are still moving and need to somehow haul this thing in. Um, uh, anything you would want to do? I mean, what? I have no idea. What cut, are you we, can cut how the am rope. I supposed to help from here? I can what? You can cut the rope. <laughs> oh my god. Why would I do that? I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't, don't. 
Don't, don't listen to the DM. No, I, I, I'm just he's saying. He's on the wrong side of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. No, I'm on your side. I'm just saying if there's anything that you think might help in some way before the movement of the ship happens again and the, uh, you know, the chance of failure occurs. No, like the yell at let's tie off the rope. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we I just don't think there's it. anything I can do from here. Um. I mean, I, I I think we don't need to. If it's right through, we don't need to haul it in immediately. As long as it's secured, it'll create drag, but it won't. Why don't Why don't you make a um, make a make a uh, like an intelligence check? Because you have very close eyes on the situation. Maybe you can relay like details like that to the party based on your 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 check. So like either either an investigation role or. Um, I feel like investigation makes sense. Um, okay. I think you're proficient in investigation. I don't know if I am. Hold on. You are, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> or you could deceive the party and let them know it's going to be all fine. <laughs> and then cut the rope. Yeah, and then cut the rope. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, let's see here. I will, yeah, I'll investigate whether it will now garbage. Would you like to keep that role or modify it? Um, I mean, I have a, what's my inspiration die do? You can either, you can re-roll it or you can add five to the result that you currently have. And my current result is 12. Uh, yeah, I'll add five. I okay. want to know, is this going to work? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yes, uh, you feel like um, it will not hold forever. You will probably need to make some sort of more permanent um, lashings uh, at the speed that you're traveling, um, but it will hold for at least a little while. What is a little while? Do I have a sense of that? I mean... Probably like, probably a few minutes at least. Okay, so we do need to make lashings in almost immediately. Um, okay. So, do can I look around and see if there's anything around me that would work for that? Um, I mean, there's plenty of rope, and um, yeah, there's plenty of rope and stuff like piled up um, on the deck of the ship to be had. Oh. Okay. I haven't moved, so can I move to some of the rope? Like how, like, plenty being, gosh. How, um, ma how many feet of rope is involved in this, uh, in this chain here? Is it 100 feet? Yes. Okay. So, um, so it's going to hang right behind the, like, where the mast is. That'll be, like, kind of where it settles, like, right, um right here okay um all right well i okay in that case as i can do item interaction as a as a bonus is that item right? interaction or? is is free that's like you open a door you pick up a thing you throw a lever um real simple tie a knot. Uh, tie, knot tying a knot's a little more involved yeah okay well i I'm going to grab some rope heavy that I think would work as lashing and I'm going to move to where I now know the thing will settle and I'm going to start I guess I'm going to start making lashings, whatever I can do there. Okay, So I'm cool. going to move to one, two, three. I can get here. Yep, that's the likely... Gosh, um, this is big. Yeah, it is big. So you start uh, mm -hmm. preparing some um, supplementary lashings. Um, mm -hmm. Back to Megas. I have two more rounds. Whew. Okay. Um, so where where's like the edge of the pit at right now? Um, I mean it's probably like right around here. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Not that it matters. <clears throat> Not that it matters. Um, Not that it Theo. Matters. So. Um, 
Yeah, so I, I'm just like swinging in a hammock, just every six seconds, like moving my finger in a circle, just re upping <laughs> it. Uh, Theo. in his thumbs. <laughs> tie off the rope, Theo. Tie off the rope. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the rope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm yes. gonna tie it off. It's gonna tie around his waist. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm heavy enough. <laughs> no, I'll tie it around Shade's waist. <laughs> His feet. You can swim, right? <laughs> you tie it to Falbin's gonna... sweater so that as it like pulls out, it like unravels his sweater. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> we'll get a longer rope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll I'll tie it down to the windlass. <laughs> Some people call it. The I don't know why. Uh, I'll I'll attach it to that and also secure it to uh, the other ballista, just because those things are battened down already. Okay. Um. <clears throat> uh, Theo, can you make a perception check, please? As you start to feel rain falling. Oh. <laughs> wow. Theo the Perceptive. Um, so you see the, the storm front that was kind of like following the, um, or the ships were like leading ahead of the storm front. Um, you've been so distracted with, with this battle, um, you, you turn to see, and it's it's almost like um, like that, like a sandstorm. Like it is, it is dense, it is dark. Um, but with a crit, you look closer, and there is actually a wave, like a like a swell that is massive, coming directly at you. Oh, is We've got trouble. Come on, Shade, lift this thing up. Just yank it out of the water. You're strong. Just get it on deck, and we can butcher it and. Do semen things to get us out of here. What's Rue doing? Rue's just, you know, chilling, living his life. Okay. He's, <laughs> I'm assuming everybody uh... is out of the way of the rope that is going to pull Tot right over <laughs> you. Really. Yes. You don't I have to be, but. Um, I mean, could be fun. Could be fun. Okay, the, the, so the rope extends into the ethereal plane and bisects Estor. <laughs> um, I've seen I like this. Ghost <laughs> Ship, right? Uh, that movie with the anyway. Um, bottom of the round, uh, the the movement occurs. The um, the rope pulls tight. Uh, the windsail um, is uh, there's like a crunch of wood as it is um, jerked in its housing. Um, and the rope uh, plays a cool, funky bass note as it as it pulls taut. Um, no, but uh, the the sea serpent slams against the side of the ship um, as the water, you know, kind of pushes it up against it. <clears throat> you um, you begin to move past the the gap in the in the in the water. Um, Theo, you direct the attention ahead to this swell of water and. Um, uh, the water is um, going to sweep over the ship. So um, I need everybody to make uh, strength saves, please. Megus doesn't have to because he's downstairs. Woo! Just <laughs> chill it in the hammock. <laughs> it's raining heavily now. <laughs> the ballista did really well. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So I guess I'll that roll but what's my motive i mean it'd be better than that yeah that's already a pass okay well the list will be I fine worry about the modifier though. shade you're good theo you're good um theogenes let's let's get one for you too um a six oh crap oh hold on um, hold up hold up um, i'm gonna modify that um with uh let's see not ability protection of the talisman I'm going to add a D4. You also have another inspiration if you want to use it. Yeah, you could just straight up re-roll it. Could straight up. Yeah, re -roll maybe it. I will. Instead of that, okay. I will do that. Um, 
Okay, and... Uh, <clears throat> Mm. Oh my god. That really? sucks. Um, so, Theagenes, you're going to take 23 bludgeoning damage and you're knocked prone. Um, everybody, else oh, takes, not- everybody else takes 12 bludgeoning damage and you're not Whoa. knocked prone. Um, this wouldn't be, this wouldn't be evasion worthy, would it? Just, I know it's un- I mean, yeah, I think, because it's a, it was a an area of attack thing. It was a um. But, well, it was a strength save. But if it's if it's an yeah, area, it, yeah, yeah, never yeah. Mind. Uh, I don't know. It's a strength save. It doesn't apply. Okay. Uh, take twelve. Cool. Um. You you um you are able to hold yourself in place for the most part as this this incredible wave of water washes over you. The the sky goes dark. Um and you have a brief second of like standing back up to your feet when all of a sudden. Uh, the ship comes to an abrupt and complete stop. I need everybody to make uh, another strength save. I think this oh, affects crap. me. This would affect you, Megus. Yeah. He's in a hammock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my oh. god. <laughs> He's oh. awake now. I didn't think I'd have to do anything. <laughs> I'm I'm going to I'm going to plus 5 mine. <laughs> So 15 for Falvin. Okay, 15 for Falvin. Um, da- Daniel, how does this affect me if I'm already lying prone? Um, well, you're fine. you won't go proner. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna add five to mine as actually, well. Actually, I, I think I think the Agenies, since you're 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 laying on the ground and you're next to a bunch of ropes, like I think I'll give you advantage on the roll. Advantage, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shade, what'd you say? I'm using my last inspiration to uh, add five to mine as well, so it's a 17. Perfect. Um, (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So a 12 is not going to pass, unfortunately. Um, No, this time I'm going to add four. You're going to add four? Okay, cool. Um, So you you pass. I'm going to add a D4, sorry. A D4, okay, okay. Well, (laughs) Uh. you know part of my secret but now it depends <laughs> there yep you're Three. good a 15 passes um so i think the only one who failed actually was magus yeah um <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I, so, I did not see this coming <laughs> yeah so magus i mean we're moving 60 feet around mm-hmm. um you're gonna mm-hmm. take 15 bludgeoning damage as you collide with uh one of the walls um down in the lower deck um okay and uh, you've come to a complete stop. Everybody else takes takes no damage. Um, okay. Um, then I believe I have ooh, to make save. a DC 10 con save. Yep. Uh, now, have we moved past the hole by this Say time? yes, we have moved just past okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's close. It, it remains. <laughs> That's an 11. Um, yeah, you're a little dazed, but you're able to keep concentration up. Um, what the rest of you see, um, I'm gonna actually move these ships because they are, um, they are not, hmm. they are not, they're gone. Um, Shade, I think you're the closest to the edge of the ship, um, to the edge of the front of the ship. Um, you you look over to see what the heck brought you to a dead stop, and there is a dark, dark, dark shape. Um, under under the water surface, but also um, uh, coming up from the water, it's, it's it's like it almost looks like fingers grasping the front of the ship, like big black fingers. Yes, like the hand of Cantamain type fingers. You might say that. <laughs> Those are oh boy. fingers. That's that's fine. No, I see no problem with this. We wanted to stop. We're stopped now. This is great. Love yeah. it. You are stopped. Let's take this opportunity to yeah. pull the sea serpent back up. On yeah, it. yeah. Look at the bright side, people. You're all like, we need to stop. We need to stop. Look, it stopped. <laughs> uh, I would definitely point this out to the, the rest of the party. There's a. Hand of Cantamane! 
Just the hand? <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, we already know. We, we fought him. <laughs> <laughs> like an actual hand of Kazuma. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think if we're still in initiative, um, Falbin, what what are you what are you doing? You hear Shade say this? Uh, I mean, probably like, uh, should I roll religion or Arcana to be like? Does that mean anything to me? You could do that. Yeah, re religion I think would be a good choice. It's a sixteen. Um, I mean. Yeah, you, you have seen one of these hands before. Um, actually, on your way to the Mithril Mines, there was the uh, the uh, the Falls of Archelon, and there there was um, there was some of these these hands um, nearby, and they were inert. Um, you know, just kind of part of the landscape. Um, you you're not sure if this one was just here, and you just happened to run into it, because it is not it's not moving. All right, so it's not it's not alive. It's just there. You don't know. You don't know, but you you are sure that this is a hand of Kentamane, like the Titan Kentamane, not one of these pirates who bears the name. I go below deck. All this time, the oars are like. Whoosh. Uh -huh. Still going <laughs> against it. Yep, and uh, it's not moving. I go below deck and I'm like, "Hey, Magus, uh, you should get some fourth level bullshit ready." <laughs> hey, I mean, I have only one of those, and I used it. <laughs> well, what's fix going it? On? Fix it. What? <laughs> Uh, uh, in a in a more frantic voice, I'm like, bucket of ketamine! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> a bucket of ketamine? What? <laughs> a bucket of ketamine? Yeah. Um, yep. That's uh, my turn. He's been taken. I, actually, Falvin, what's your your passive perceptions? Pretty decent, right? Uh, yeah, I want to say it's like eighteen. Uh, yeah, it's eighteen. Eighteen. Um, you notice some wet footprints, kind of. Um, uh, kind of crossing the the ore deck way, sort of like uh, like a little ways away from the stairs, like out of out of Megus's eyesight where he was. Uh huh. And they go like over here. They kind of cross from one side to the other. Uh, when you say one side to the other, what do you mean? Can so, you if you'd like to investigate, mean... you just see wet footprints crossing wet, the middle. Okay, okay. The middle of the the aisle. Well, I mean, yeah, if I could roll again, I would like to do that. Yeah, go ahead and do an investigation. Or, or perception. Uh, it's an 18. Um, you see the footsteps would indicate a direction of, like, north to south. So, like, from the top side of the, of the map to the bottom. Um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move to investigate to the end of my movement. Okay. Um, and that's it. Cool. Um, we're not in like immediate, like nothing's happening. So we'll we'll just we'll drop out of combat, and you guys can act freely. Cool. I also mentioned after the ketamine that. Oh, and by the way, we're probably not alone, and I'm gonna follow these footsteps. Bye. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. Well, actually, I'm gonna check on Kyra. Is she still? She's starting to come too. I think the uh, the jolt um, has kind of like it's like mm -hmm. shaken her out of a out of a out of a, a sleep, um, and she's like rubbing her head. Oh, thanks. Okay. Okay. Um, a lot's going on. I'll need to check on you later. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll be looking for the coffee. I, I... <laughs> What? <laughs> I, I think Theo does that. Uh, I, I go up on deck, and okay. and all throughout this, I am maintaining the the control water spell. Okay, cool. You go up on deck. Um, let me clear off some of these some of this blood. Uh, do you guys, do you guys like the blood? You want to you want to keep it? Oh, I love the blood. Uh, makes it hard to see the actual features of the okay. ship. If it was it's, transparent, though, <laughs> it's gone. 
Um, uh, we'll hmm. say the rain has washed off a lot of the blood. And yeah, it's like pouring rain right now. Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, Jade would be looking over the edge at this hand. Let's see if there's anything else about it. Like other hands, said the large shape in the water. Um, it's just the one hand. Uh, I mean, it's it's gargantuan. I mean, it's it's wider than the ship itself. Um, and it's the image here. It's like stone, but it's you'd have to make. I mean, it's it's strange. You'd have to make a check to tell more about it. <laughs> What, um, what were you going for, really? Like, I was just going to see, like, if there's anything else around it, or if it's just the hand is really what I'm going for. Oh, uh, no, it, there's nothing else around. Literally, just the hand. Nothing else for miles, or for as far as you can see. As far as you can see. All right. Well, then at this point, Shade would take this opportunity to go try and lash up that sea serpent. I don't see anything okay. else. Let's get this thing on board or tied to the ship or something. Shane, I have a question for you. You, you seem to have uh, experience with ships and uh, seafaring. Yes. Those two ships that I capsized, are the people on there going to survive? Or are they going to survive? Are they dead now, or will they die slowly? Um, what should I roll? <laughs> so no. I mean, I, you'd probably have to go I take a look uh, over the back of the ship. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess I'll hustle on past there, hop up on here, and take a look. I guess, what do I see through the pouring rain? <laughs> um, I mean, you can see the keels of both warships. Um, like, they are still uh -huh. floating, uh, bobbing in the water, but they're upside down. Like, there's absolutely no way that they're going to be able to right themselves or, you know, it's just wreckage at this point. I do know that, you know, sailors, they could probably hold their breath for a little while, swim possibly, sw swim a decent amount. Maybe they could salvage lifeboats or something. They'd be stranded at sea, but there's a decent chance that at least a few of them could have survived. That's does that does that seem reasonable? Like that's yeah, yeah. What he would be piecing I mean, the together. Fall, and like it, it the would fall have been would be the biggest thing, right? <laughs> Probably would have killed most of them outright. But those who survived the fall might be out, might be able to survive. I guess. What I'm asking is, are they going, are they, would the survivors now fated to die slowly of exposure at sea? Should I kill the, should I finish them off now? I, uh, that's, that's a toss up. It depends. Are you set on making sure there's no survivors? I, <laughs> Because people can last a long time at sea. I mean, those ships aren't going to sink necessarily completely in a hurry, so they might be able to salvage some supplies. Anybody who survives, maybe a lifeboat, start rowing. They came from somewhere, so they must know somewhere to go to, possibly. The storm's going to mess them up, too, but I don't know. I've, I've heard stories of people lasting for days maybe even weeks on the water and make it back don't forget cannibalism <laughs> <laughs> i love that they came yeah, across the room <laughs> <laughs> hmm. now this Jade would walk up to Magus, put his hand on his shoulder, and be like, But Magus, do you really want to be the one that kills a bunch of innocent people? Or not innocent, but helpless people? 
They can't do anything about it now. We were in combat. We were fu they were attacking us before. Now they're not a threat. Is that really the path you want to go down? I, I nod and dismiss the spell. <laughs> um, so the, the hole refills and the ships rise to the surface. Okay. While we're lashing things up, this up, Let's keep an eye out. Anybody comes out of that ship. Either we grab him and take him prisoner, or we cut him down. I think Falbon already saw some footsteps, uh, some footprints down at below. Um, I'm going to have well, a look at this hand. Trap, what are we doing here? Let's... You run downstairs. Scream. <laughs> you see... You run downstairs to the to the ore deck, and you see all the ghostly oarsmen just busy bees, just rowing away. Um, they don't seem frustrated. They're just they're just working. The drummer is still drumming, um, and you see Falbin kind of like he's like an air marshal, just like going from row to row of uh, of the deck, um, just looking very closely. Um, Falbin, make a perception check. I will make a perception. A 16. Um, about about here, you see um, somebody who looks a little less ghostly than the rest. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. What would Falbin do? Mm -hmm. oh. uh, <laughs> do I... Can I? Do I recognize this less ghostly individual? Um, yeah, you, you. It's one of the, the the wizards, one of the deck wizards from the the one of the ships that went down. And they are like soaking wet, and um, they're they're chattering their teeth, but rowing as hard as they can, um, and trying to <laughs> trying to blend in. Uh. And also, they look terrified. Like, they just, they really had to get cool with a lot of shit really quick. Because um, they didn't know that ghost pirates were a thing. <laughs> um, but once they once they realized they weren't, like, trying to harm them, they were like, okay, one thing at a time. Well, Falbin, Falbin rolled a one. And uh, that Out of means two? that he's, and that means that he's going to shout, You there! I mean, they don't respond because because <laughs> why would they? <laughs> oh, I'm getting late. It is I, Castor. Once I've made him out, I'm, I start sprinting towards him, and I've shouted you there. And as I get closer, I say, um, "Come out of there." Um, and I, you know, I've got my dagger at the ready. If he's gonna make a move, he's he's gonna get the no hesitation. Okay. Um. Yeah, you, you're clearly um ready to do damage, and um, they they raise their hands, and the 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 ore is still going back and forth, and they're kind of like leaned away from the the travel of the ore. But um, you told them to come out. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah. She shuffles out. Um. And. Uh, is like standing like kind of back against the mast um okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna put manacles on their hands okay uh and that, that i'm gonna restrain them do they allow that to happen uh yeah like they like shade shades coming up from behind and like uh they're 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 done they're made okay then uh they are manacled okay 
And uh, then at this point, I just kind of look at Shade and I like take both of my hands, like put them up like an offering, and then put them towards the wizard, and then kind of lean back with my arms folded. <laughs> Recognizing that this is, in fact, a wizard, mm -hmm. Shade would also uh, pull out, like, a, I guess, a, like, the cloth or, or rope or something and gag them. Okay. You know? Yep. <laughs> verbal components. <laughs> yep. Um, and then lead them upstairs. Say, good catch, Falbin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Um, they come with you upstairs. Um, I mean, well, you, you make them <laughs> come with you. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. And then um, they, they come up on deck and, like, they're seeing some of the carnage. Um, uh, they actually shade roll an inside check. Um, inside. Actually, no, the, the, the fingers of the, the hand are not visible from, from back here, so never mind. Um where are you taking them? I, I will have been investigating the hand. Okay. Um, obviously, it's a hand of Kentamane. What would you like to know? Mm -hmm. um, is it just there, or is it like, is it going to be an imminent danger to the structural integrity of the ship? Is it is it going to try to crush us? Uh, is this yeah? Um, I'm trying to think what would be the best uh, check for that. Um. Maybe insight? Oh boy. Eighteen. Um, I mean, it's been like a couple minutes and um, the ship is stopped, it's immobilized, but it hasn't like gripped the ship tighter. I, I will say it seems, <coughs> it seems, uh, it seems, it seems like chance is not really, uh, like the the hand is is angled in such a way to catch the ship, like mm. this this does not seem like you just ran into a permanent fixture. Right. I'd say that's your biggest like guess. Okay. Interesting. Um. Okay. Um. I will leave it, and I will look at the lashings. Oh, I'll come over to, to see how people are doing with the sea serpent. Shade would also bring the the pirate wizard over here to where he had been mm -hmm. manacled mm -hmm. and wait for the rest of the party to kind of congregate. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to remove the gag for a moment. Don't worry. They can't cast spells in my presence. Uh, Power move. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, re remove the gag. And I'm going to ask, what is your name? Be honest. Um... Uh, she says, Janus? Janus? Janus. Okay. Like J A N U S. Not. I've mm -hmm. I, I've I've given a character this name before, and they're like, oh, like the character in Friends, like Janus. And I'm like, no, like Janus, like the the anyway. I like to yeah. think yeah. that the Space character is Janus. a namesake of the month January. Right. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, you guys get it. <laughs> All right. Okay. We have a lot going on right now. Um, but just know that... We don't mean you harm presently. Um. Don't try anything. Um, and I'm going to, like, put the gag back in place. Okay. You do. Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, how's this going? Hauling this thing up. Because I figure we should take care of this and then go back and have a look at the wreckage and then just go below deck because this is a storm. Yeah, not much else we can do. Um, I was just going to turn this windlass over here and reel it in like a fish. Well, now that we're not pulling against the ship movement, we might be able to do that fairly well. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. All right. You seem to have that covered. I'm going to go, um, and and I will go to the to the other end of the ship and just keep an eye on the wreckage for a bit. Okay. Yeah. Quick, um, quick question. Mm -hmm. The the serpent is thirty feet down, floating on the surface of the water, basically, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. It's not like sinking. Uh no. Mm hmm. Okay. The oars are kind of like underneath it, kind of like pushing it up a little bit as they as they upswing. Um, okay. Um, Jade will take the uh, the heavier rope that Theogenes got, and I assume we're going to check it for length and make sure it can reach all the way to the windlass, right? You have. Ton, you have so much rope on this ship. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you have essentially so, unlimited rope on this ship. Jade is gonna just like hang over the edge of the railing, have his echo hop down onto the head of the serpent, and then swap places with it. Okay. So now he's standing on the serpent. He's gonna tie off the heavier, heavier rope. Oh. Uh, with his echo hanging on the side of the ship. So if he ever starts to fall, he's just going to swap place with it. Nice, back. nice. So he doesn't fall into the water. And then do that to get the heavier rope on it before we start cranking the windlass, just in case the ballista mm -hmm. just, ballista bolt just pulls out. Yeah, um, you you figure oh, that mm -hmm. like it's it's got some like horns coming out of its um, brow that would be a pretty good strong point. Um, that or like just tying around the neck. We'll do something like that. Okay. However yeah. much I can. Yeah. You, you have time. You, you get a good solid situation. Um, and between all that, you are able to start hauling it up. And I'll say that's, that's no problem um, with enough time. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, so we basically haul this thing back up to right where it, Die. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 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 up on the on the foredeck. Um the hand is still not moved. Come on, Theo. Co I mean <laughs> Falbin. Come on, <laughs> we've got a serpent for you. Wow. I know how much you love to you love to uh get in here, carve this bad boy up. I mean, yeah, the storm is coming, and uh, there is nothing more important right now than making sure that we harvest what this uh, bounty of the sea has brought to us. <laughs> <laughs> um, Megus, did you say you were standing on the back of the ship? Yeah, I was uh, looking over the wreckage. Okay, I'm going to move you back there. While we're widening, pulling this whole thing in, so yeah. however long that uh, took is... <laughs> I, I think I will also have uh, Janus with me. Uh, okay, so they're... I mean, they're not... Like, they could try to run away. I mean, they're they're shackled, but, like, you don't... You don't have them in a secured spot. Um... Yes. I, I mean, like, I'm thinking, like, run to where? <laughs> I don't know. Right now. No, no. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Because, uh, like, I think Shade had, like, tied yeah. her up to this thing that he oh, was tied okay. to. Uh, I okay. brought her over there to at least to tie her up. To, okay. Then, so we didn't have that. to have somebody yeah. holding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then I'll just be at the back looking over. Also, do I see Estor? Uh, no, you don't. Hmm. That's a fun thing to keep in mind. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. 
Um, <laughs> so <laughs> don't don't you start. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> so Falvin, you're gonna want to chop this thing up, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, okay, so this is a monstrosity. Yeah, it is. So the appraisal is gonna be based on that. Um, I'm trying to remember what um, Hammonds says for monstrosities. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Be able to make some, make the Ajinis some sweet sea serpent plate armor from its scales, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's just a nature check Please. to, um... I believe so. Yeah. I can we should give him, like, some lightning resistance or something. Mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> 21, nice. Um, let's see, monstrosity. Yeah, it is nature. Um, okay, so... Um, yeah, so you're able to appraise um, everything valuable on the uh, sea serpent. Why don't you tell us what you spy with your little eye? <laughs> right, right. Let me click the, the thing. Um... Uh, well, I mean, I know that sea serpent blood uh, is a thing. It's got a chemical properties. There's some other things you can use it for, but sometimes it's used for flavoring. So, you know, that's a thing that is a, a small merit. Mm -hmm. I know that the ancient sea serpent scales uh, are thick yet flexible, slightly metallic. Uh, they can make armor, apparel, or jewelry. So that has some, some good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I know it crafts into a scale armor plus one um and then of course sea serpent's teeth those are kind of a sought after commodity sought, sought after commodity you can make arrows with them or daggers or scimitars hmm. pretty versatile stuff um and uh they're usually you know, for a gargantuan type creature like this about a foot long uh and uh yeah yeah so uh also the ser sea serpent fins those are interesting a uh, variety of uses, expert leather workers love them, uh, tarp sails, clothing, all sorts of, you know, interesting things. We could we could set up a seaside village with it, really. I mean, all sorts of things. Um, sea Serpent Blubber, yeah, yeah, it's in there too. Uh, <laughs> and you can make soap with it, uh, but, you know, who cares? Uh, <laughs> this ship has had a bunch of undead living on it for a long time. We're probably getting need a lot of soap. <laughs> Yeah, and besides the and rations that you down. guys brought with you, you don't have any food, so, like, um... Grilled sure. sea serpent. What are you talking about? We just picked up some food from below deck. Oh, my God. Okay. The... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, the Agenes is the one who brought up cannibals. Real dark. <laughs> yeah, the Agenes is down, I'm sure. Um, uh, okay, so wow. um, now you can proceed to the uh, to the harvesting. Um, so that's um, yeah, yeah. That's a. Uh, I would like to assist him. Okay. Um, Aid. Whatever. You, you have help. nature proficiency, right? Uh, nature no, no, proficiency. I mean, I mean Falvin yeah. does. I have expertise. You, okay, cool. So you get um, so you roll a, a dexterity roll plus your expertise in nature. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it means so that like, like you're a, just a dexterity check. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then my with proficiency in uh, nature would be how do I find that? Um. See, so nature. You have a plus nature, ten. My nature modifier is plus ten, so I guess. And you have a plus five in dexterity, so you could just do a, a d d twenty plus fifteen, basically. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> I think I know how this might that's a, go. That's a massive um, modifier. And then is that is that uh, at advantage because uh, shade yeah. or yeah. how does that figure in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did I do wrong? Not one dash these. That and then I'll just do it again. So thirty one. Yeah. Um, you were able to harvest um, everything that you appraised um, from this. It's serpent. so good. It's I'm, so good. I'm gonna I say mean, one I, extra you know. thing you get. Um, so oh. this. Um, not one extra thing. Uh, as you're kind of peeling back the scales, um, you remember it's like lightning abilities. Um, you're pretty sure that were you to make scale armor out of this, it would grant lightning resistance. Um, you also notice 
uh, as you're kind of digging around, like <laughs> y'all have the the jaws just propped up with yeah. I don't know some ballista bolts, and you're just like inside it, just like pulling out teeth and stuff. Yeah, and like as I'm <laughs> as I'm doing this, I, I I'm kind of like like oh now he got me, and then I like rip one of his teeth out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, under kind of a like a fold in the in the gums, um, you 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 find a pearl about the size of like a, like a, a lime. Um, and Theagenes, you feel kind of a magical power kind of pulse in this pearl. I do, huh? Yep. Mm. Do I know its nature? Um. Uh, you would have to cast identify on it, but it feels like a magical item. I don't know that spell, so. <laughs> oh, you know somebody who does, oh. but. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, cool. Um, <coughs> while that's happening, Megas, are you still off the back? Uh, yeah, like I'll I'll do like a, a cursory glance over. Like, are, are there any like obvious survivors? Um. You, after, like, it's, like, probably 10 or 15 minutes this is happening, um, you see um, somebody real wet and haggard um, kind of pop out from under one of the sides of the ship and um, uh, really struggling climb up onto the deck and then just kind of flop over on their back, exhausted. Do I recognize uh, which of the people they are. Uh, perception check. Mm. Uh, you can't tell. They, they're whatever um, like signifying clothing or stuff has been either damaged or discarded. Um, and you also don't hear um, the sound of a very large um, object um, emerging from the water uh, just just north of where the serpent used to be. Mm -hmm. um, and the water dripping off of this form kind of masked by the by right. the, the, the thick thunderstorm. Cool. Um, and you don't hear uh, the uh -huh. gargantuan, fingers in kind of a pinching motion reach forward towards the wizard that's restrained um, and uh, pluck the wizard from where it was. Did any of us have a chance to see this even just like turning around? <laughs> um, I mean, f I think Falbin's passive might be high enough. Yeah. I mean, it's it's an obscured like it's the area is obscured and it's loud, but um, I think Falbin, you you could probably hear something happening back here. I like to think it's like he reaches out of the jaw to like hand off some of the teeth and just like, mm -hmm. what the heck is that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, as you say, as you say. Um, and the wizard is is plucked and um like you're not sure uh i mean the restraints definitely break you're not sure what else breaks in the process mm. um but they are lifted up above the deck and they are suspended about 20 feet above the deck and the hand stops as like like somebody picking up a fly mhm mm Um, okay, so, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm like harvesting, right? I'm, I'm preoccupied. You're, you're done harvesting now. Okay. Well, I think I would move towards this thing. And, uh... Jade would like to follow. <laughs> can I... And, and I, I do not hear any of this? Uh, unless you're alerted to it, no. Okay. I mean, I shouted, but I don't know if he'd hear me over the storm. Yeah, That's you can a, you can shout call. until he hears you. Oh, okay. The thing! The, 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 the. Uh. Okay, I'm uh. stealing the wizard! <laughs> and and, well, and, and you'll like, note Hama! that it's, it literally stops. Like, it stops with the wizard suspended above the deck of the ship about 20 feet. It's not moving anywhere. Uh-huh. 
Our meat. I mean, this is this is where the the um, capable murderer is just gonna kind of like look at the people who understand magic and Our religion meat. and titans. <laughs> Let me know if I should stab it. Okay. Uh, is it possible for me to climb up on this hand to where the wizard is? Wow. Um, <laughs> the, I mean, the, the, the arm, like the wrist is mm -hmm. like, it's, it's, it's away from the ship. You'd have to, you'd have to, you'd, you could, you climb the mast and then climbed out on to like this, this, like the the horizontal part of the mast, you could maybe mm -hmm. jump over. Uh, yeah, I will. I'll, I'll give it a try, and I will also express to Shade. It does look like there's one survivor just flopped on the wreckage back there. I, I will say yeah. you will note that the wizard is not saying anything or doing anything or screaming or anything. Yeah, they are gagged. Right, but they're not struggling. They're they're twenty feet away. Do they look like they would be? Do they look different from like their their demeanor and as I saw them before? Uh, I think you would need a um, perception check. Hmm. Can I do a perception? Yeah, anybody who's looking at it and is curious can do a perception oh. check. Well, I mean, you know, that's probably I'm, good enough. I'm curious, <laughs> but I feel like he kind of saw everything already, so why would I even look? <laughs> um, so you, you all see... Um, you all see this, uh, the hmm. eyes of this wizard like rolled back into their head. Um, and nice. Shade, I think you see um, where it should be the like whites of their eyes rolled over. Their eyes are black. And underneath the gag, there's like kind of like a black ooze like hmm. slowly spilling from, from their mouth. Yeah, I mean, it's probably fine. Uh, I would definitely point this out. They're, his, their, her eyes don't look right. And is that blood or ichor coming out of her mouth? Ah, uh, I, I'm not sure what's going on, guys. That's creepy. You should probably get a closer look, Megas. Just oh, all on up there. <laughs> 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 yep, exactly. <laughs> um, as as all of your attention is now is now on this wizard, um, you hear a kind of a thaumaturgy level like booming voice coming from the wizard, who is gagged, um, and it says something like, um, "This one speaks for the ancient, for the eternal." For the sea itself. Hmm. Could you repeat that normally? I only caught about half of yeah, that. Yeah, this one's <laughs> this one speaks for like the eternal, for the ancient, for the sea itself. That was very cool though. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> and then I will say Speak, O oh, emissary. Um, you can see the, um, the body of the wizard. You're not sure if they're alive or dead. Um, kind of like inhales, but it's like kind of hacking on this like sludge that fills their lungs, but also gives them volume. Um, and, uh, that gag is like going dark with this stain, um, as it speaks. And, uh, in a similar grave mindish voice, uh, I'll, I'll just speak normally. Um, uh, just says like this one and those who sail with him or with them um, bear a flag of heresy of insult um, 
and he's referring to the the Black Hands of Kentamane, this mm-hmm. mercenary guild. Um, mm-hmm. You can make an assumption that uh, they take the name almost just to to borrow like the the fear that it lends. Um, can I get uh, like history checks from people? Twenty from Megas. I know things. Yeah. I don't know anything. This is why I sit in the back and watch people. I I, I know that Megas knows things. So Theagenes, <laughs> Theagenes, Shade, and Megas. Um, nice. You guys all know that um, Kentamane. You know he's he's the the elder titan of Thelia. Um, uh, the uh, many of the Fey races uh, worship worship Kentamane. Um, you know, for for the the he 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 is deeply ingrained in just the natural order of things. There's even rumors that he himself um, bars uh, people from strange worlds and lands from arriving in Thelia. Like he is the storm, and like Shade, you remember your journey. Uh, first coming into Thelia, you came in in uh, just harassed by storm after storm after storm. Um, people talk about how like that's Kentamane, like keeping people out and like preserving the way things are. Um, and so the the Fey cultures in Thelia, many of them worship Kentamane for his preservation of them. Um, and so a a a group of settlers who literally go around. Uh, imprisoning and selling the, those same fey creatures under the ti- under the name of Kentamane, that's like, it's it's a, it's heretical basically, and it's it's to it's to strike fear and and uncertainty and doubt in these in the Minotaurs and stuff to make them doubt who they worship. Um, it's really messed up. Um, and you gather that Kentamane was like maybe pursuing these guys through the sea. Mm. Uh, I will look to the group and say like, I'm not gonna try and like prevent Kentamane from doing his thing. Do we want to try to save one of them? Shade would look over and say, uh, if Kentamane has already judged them, I don't believe we would be making any friends by sparing any, unless it is by, Shade would gesture to the to the wizard and the hand unless it is by his leave oh yeah like I'm not gonna try it I, I, I would try to persuade him but not try to force his hand uh, <laughs> we should probably get the other ones and and uh, help him out there you go Um, yeah, but, I mean, or do we? I mean, Falbin tossed a coin about whether or not he's just going to kill her before he even asked her a question, so he's good either. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, then, then, yeah, I will go back and I will say, Great Kentamane, eldest of titans, we would not deign to interfere with your judgment of those who have profaned your name. Profaned? We would ask, though, if perhaps one may be spared to tell the others of your terrible greatness. Roll a persuasion check. Hmm. 
Um, he said, or the, the wizard says, Their time will come. Uh, he declines your offer. I'm, I'm not going to try and push this. <laughs> <laughs> um, he does I mean, say... We already were all on the same page that these were bad dudes to begin with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he does say, though, that um, for your actions, um, he will grant you a... Um, a boon. Um, and this is kind of in vague terms, but uh, but he wishes that you um, confer and then and then ask for a boon. Okay. Um, so I don't know what you guys are thinking, but. I have two ideas. Uh, the first is that he guide the Ultros to somewhere that isn't Mitros and somewhere where we want it to be. Because he's obviously demonstrated the ability to overpower the ores. Um, All right. Alternately, could he just grant us control of the ship? That could be a thing to ask. <laughs> um, another thing that I was thinking of is I don't know what kind of power he has over the spirit world, but if he could force Estor into one of these bodies that he's claiming anyway and take Estor too. Uh, I feel like your passive like religion, that's not really his thing. He's a very okay. like he's a very like um, elemental like base mm. elemental yep. like even just looking at his fingers closely, it's mm -hmm. like it's not made of stone. It's made of just like raw, like built like it's just like carbon almost. It's just like mm -hmm. the most base form of matter that you can take. So like With manipulating that... ghosts and stuff, not really his thing. Right. Uh, with that, do I think he could grant us uh, ownership of the Ultros? Probably not. Mm. Well, then the moving thing. Could he just pick up and carry the Ultros? <laughs> oh, that I'm sure he could do. <laughs> Put Why it on a there... beach over there. <laughs> Why is there a line of hands going all the way from here to the I mean, next there were all there were already hands outside the mithril mines. We know he can take us there. Um, yeah, that was from the last he, ship he did that too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do... It's like a lime scooter that just got left on the <laughs> sidewalk over there. Um, so I think he can act. He can absolutely do that. Um, do we? Do we think that after he let the Ultros go, it would just start moving back to Mitros again? Probably. I feel like that's a given. I mean, they've been rowing okay. this whole time. That, uh, okay. Yeah, they are um, still rowing. So and beating the then, drum. Right. So we would have to ask him to take us somewhere and then hold us there until such time as we ask to be released. It's a pretty big ask. It is. Um, does anybody have other ideas or ideas of where we would want to go? I've been thinking we need to, we should go back to our hideout. Something we haven't really, we haven't really talked about, but oaths. Do they have any type of like expiration date? <laughs> no, I mean any type of like uh, 
like reminder type thing like if you have the option to fulfill an oath but choose not to would it pull on you yeah what are the um, clauses i mean that? oaths are are literally part of the um like the fabric of thelia so i mean you right would, you would probably know if you're in an instance where you should be obeying the oath and you're not right because uh, i mean the thing i'm putting out is we specifically swore an oath that as soon as we were able we would reunite demetria with the remains of her sister here we have an option where we are in theory able <laughs> that's true that's true yeah I, like, I think i think given the choice of like choosing a destination you would be choosing a destination farther from your oath bound destination right so we should be trying to we we would probably have something tugging on us as, except for theogenes he's safe uh, <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Tugging on us to take it towards the old wood. And that's what Shade would say. It's like, I, I think we have a duty to take the ship to the old wood if that's the route we take about moving the ship. That's where it should go. I don't know that that's necessarily our best choice. Right. But, but we swore no. Yeah, that is the choice that would... If that's the choice that uh, doesn't get us whisked away by the Furies... Um, I mean, Theo, I would absolutely prefer to take this back to the hideout. But, ah, see, this is why I hate oaths. Uh. <laughs> yeah, well... I'm with you there. Um, but if anybody has um, uh, like enough guile and enough um, reason to want to purge Estor from this thing, it's Demetria. Yeah, like that's the other thing. It's like who, what yeah. would, who would do that at the hideout? We just basically right. just slow the ship down, and it would probably just zip, zip away again at the, right. the first chance it gets. The the main thing I'm thinking of with that though is. We don't just want Estor purged. We want us put in control. And would Demetria do that? I mean, I'd like to think that if we fulfilled our oath, we reunited with the remains of her sister, how even mm. whatever, she might, we might I have mean, won some points in her book. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, might not be great, are, but. If we are oath bound, we may not have too much of a choice in the matter and just try to make the best of it. You can chop that tree when you come to it. Um, I don't like that analogy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll burn that forest when we get to it. <laughs> so essentially, you have three choices. You can, you can, you can say, "Hey, uh, just give us a, a discount at Wendy's," um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you, uh, and let us go on our way. Uh, and you still have about two and a half days to figure something out before you get to Mitros right, or right. you can choose a um, uh, uh, a piggyback route assuming he'll do that mm -hmm. um I, glance around yeah. <laughs> it's like I, the other I, option yeah. oh we could ask for him to invest some of his power in Sprout. Ooh. That is significant. <laughs> <laughs> that is resounding. <laughs> What do you what do you mean um, by that? <laughs> oh, I think I mean player player talk wise is see if he, he could build a deeper connection with it and further empower power it similar to its already kind of shown connection to Celia herself. <laughs> no, I get you. You want to evolve it's like, her. So it's basically <laughs> tie it to both primal titans rather than just Celia. 
evolve, evolve, evolve. <laughs> Saying, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's even possible, but it's like, right. huh? <laughs> I, I think Magus would be against this at this point because now we're getting into the, 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 the realm of making decisions for her so that she would be more useful to us. Well, Not necessarily more useful to us, but more capable for sure. Whatever she decides it, to do with you it. Know, any, any parent wants the best for their child. <laughs> give them the best opportunities. Just saying, it's, it's an option. I figure I'd put it on the table. Our, our probably most immediate need is redirection of the ultras. Right. And I think I could I could redirect it, but we would have to stop the drumming somehow. And that would take and it would take like a, a really good uh, a really good day on my part <laughs> for for everyone involved. So. Well, uh, have, has Theogenes asked the drummer if she wanted to be released? Hmm. <laughs> I guess not. I mean, I went around asking people if they wanted to earlier on, and I'm assuming she said no. Uh, I mean, right now they are basically bound by a store. Um, in, right. in duty, so um, until she that's duty, duty. <laughs> <laughs> so like until that's dismissed, they're basically kind of trapped under his control. Right. So I guess we got to release him then. So it sounds like the old wood. The old wood hat. As near as we can manage. Uh, that's that's my vote. Old wood. Yeah, Falvin. I'm taking a ride on this boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you ask um, the um, the uh, the emissary of um, of Kentamain, yeah. referring to the wizard, not the hand. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> The hand is um, Kentamane. Yeah. yeah, and I will I'll say like uh great Kentamane, we are both bound to right a great wrong that was committed against the native races of this world. And to unite the dryad Demetria with the remains of her sister that comprise this vessel. Would you divert and guide this boat from its current course into the old wood and hold it there until such time as Demetria can can be reunited with the remains of her sister? Uh, persuasion check at advantage. Uh, That's better. Yeah. Um, there is a pause, and then the voice basically says, um, uh, if you will all swear an oath to, with the exception of self defense, to never take violent action against. A fey creature in Thelia. <laughs> I mean, come on. Falvin's gotta do what he's gotta With do. With the exception of self defense. Like, if you guys well, get enough scrap, uh, you know, you can do it. I mean, but... that's Falvin. Falvin's gotta do. <laughs> and this is, you know, this you is know? referring to, you know, centaurs, minotaurs, dryads, mm -hmm. nymphs, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Right. Some of his favorite stuff. All those creatures are good yeah, people. Yeah, 
Those are all on his food web. <laughs> um. I will respond to this. Um. Thousand handed Kentamane. You know the dealings of your progeny. You know that the oath of peace will expire soon. How will the definitions of self-defense be seen in the time of war? Uh, he says me and the kids don't talk much. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Uh, I, I mean, I, the, the, the spirit of the, of the point is just that, like, you, you can't strike first on a fey creature. Dang. I, I don't know that in... we can agree to that. Yeah, Falbin's not going to get his advantage. Come on. That's his no surprise thing. rounds. Yeah, no surprise rounds. Sneak attack. And, and in in like a time of war, which is coming, they tactically we would have to we, we we can't just wait for the other army to attack first every single time. <laughs> I think well, yeah, okay. Shade would step forward and say Great Cantamain, I believe I can understand some of your intent. However, the times we have already been ambushed and attacked ourselves unaware of the threat. I do not believe that we could agree to that oath. We will, we would be willing to agree to, to the best of our efforts, follow that in honor of you, but I do not believe we could swear an oath to it. There are too many variables and too many enemies already uh, within the fey creatures that wish us dead. That's a good point. That might have not have been uh, the best <laughs> call from me personally. Um, uh, at, to, to, my, my goal is to avoid like a back and forth of like yeah, nickeling and diming yeah. terms, but um, that I I think I did not quite consider the the magnitude of of that. Um, uh, let's see, because because you're asking a pretty big thing from him, um, especially you know holding it holding the ship there for as long as it takes to figure this out. Um, I mean, he's just got to stick his hand out of the ground. He does that all over the place already. Yeah. Right, but you got to remember what car you're driving. <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. This is basically like the uh, the the Fae Slayer 9000. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I mean, I'll call the head. It shouldn't take too long. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Um... Um and the session ended there. I like I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> like I, I I I feel like I like I want to I want to present something fair. Um like I he's not just going to take you there for free, right? Like that's not that's not happening. Um uh he has you here. I mean there one of the things that would be at least kind of in line with his desires from at least from the, the player's handbook mm. lore is if he made us if he had to swear an oath to uh, basically 
defend and protect Thelia as a whole. Um, because that's like his big thing is he's his whole thing is he protect he's protects Thelia, his wife, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> turned into the war the the land, yeah, and so it's like he and that's directly in line with our motivations. Like that's, that's what we're trying to do is basically defend against people pillaging and destroying and causing a large scale strife within Thelia. And that's what we're trying to stop. Like that would line up with Yeah. That's... That'd be like mutual mutually aligned objectives. That's a good point. Um Okay. Yeah. Um I think that's I think that's fair. Um and Wait, anybody else anybody else? Yeah, like Say anything there? Any thoughts? You know, I I agree absolutely. I mean, it's well thought out, well reasoned. I it's mean, like I don't feel like wanna... you guys had any plans of doing that anyway, right? Like, not that he exactly. knows no. that, but that's yeah. not really a sacrifice. Right, but I mean, it depends on how he wears it. If we're supposed like we're to uh, oppose it. It might force us to take more of our action than we necessarily want to at other at times. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, any any other any other chime ins? But I assume you you're like you want him. We're we're, we're gonna have to swear some type of oath to him. Basically. Basically. Yeah. So. Like or you've have shown him just let go of the ship. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like you've you've shown you've shown some level of of like disdain for um people that would like profane um his purpose um and harm his children, basically. Um so I think he just wants you know, wants a confirmation of that going forward. Um I, th I think that just like swearing swearing to protect Thelia and um, uh, and to be his vengeance maybe against those who like like knowingly do her or her people harm like it, referring to people like the mercenaries like not not like oh, soldiers yeah. fighting battles I just mean like mm -hmm. people going out of their way to be dicks to um to Faye, you know um he will like empower you to uh to be pretty harsh on that he he's looking for an oath for us to be harsh i mean Fal falvin's all over this now <laughs> now we're now we're talking the language <laughs> I know the rest of you might have qualms in some of the circumstances that that's going to put us in, but like, you know, that Falcon's good with that. Yeah, qualm it. <laughs> I know that's pretty vague, I mean, but like, uh, 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 how about to those who profane, who continue to profane him or Thelia? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, he's basically like, uh, hey, you see these guys again? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, rough them up, tell them I sent you, basically. Yeah. Um, and to main sense his regards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, how do we feel about that? Um, he will he will take oh, you yeah. to the old wood, hold you there oh, until you're able to, you know, re-captain the Ultros. Um, as long as you swear to... Um, like an oath of protection to Thelia, uh, you know, the land and, um, and to be vengeance against, um, these, uh, these profane, uh, people. Should we, uh, start, uh, representing with some black hand of Cantamane, uh, where should we paint it on our mast here? You know? Uh, I, I say we don't bind ourselves to something like that quite yet. <laughs> 
we're going to start getting a uh, 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 Titan sponsorships. You know, we'll just yeah. like, instead of the dragon head, we'll put a giant fist on the front of it. Yeah, that's before, <laughs> before every battle, we'll wave your flag once. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like, you're, you're side on. Uh, you're, your dad says you're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Or he you could us to tell you. <laughs> you could still have the dragon head, but have like a fist kind of on the side, like Trogdor style, you know, like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's coming up yeah. out of its neck there, big old muscle in your arm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, does that sound good to everybody? Yeah. yeah. Works for me. All right. Um. The uh, the sludgy <laughs> wizard mouth once again speaks. The oath has been struck, and um, uh, with a tiny tiny pinch, the head of the wizard pops. Ooh. Ew! And um, the hand um, sinks back under the water. Um, a whirlpool begins to form around the ships. Um, and mm -hmm. you guys weren't like um, asking. I mean, did you want to like parlay for them at all? I mean, no, I guess I tried. tried and yeah, failed. I tried. <laughs> I tried to save one, and that failed. Oh, that's true. Um, uh, yep, whirlpool begins to form, and after you know, like a minute or so, the uh, the warships um, are uh, pulled to the inky black depths. Um, there's kind of a, a jerk as um, you can feel uh, the hand grasp uh, the, the, the stern of the ship um, and the ship begins to turn uh, turns about 270 degrees um, back towards the northeast and, um, and is propelled uh, under this, um, this titan's steam back towards the old wood and I, I, we can, we can, you know, talk in character a little more, but that's, I think, where we'll end the session. Wait, question. Yeah. Why would he turn it two hundred and seventy degrees? Is he not an ambi turner? <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Oh, I turned it too far. I turned too far. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. That's too much. That's too much. He can just think... turn it in the opposite direction a little ways. The, the Tokyo think... Drift theme song kicks in, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. <laughs> no, you turn okay, whatever amount of turner. degrees. That's a, that's a term I'm going to hang on to. Hey. <laughs> that's a Zoolander. <laughs> he doesn't turn left. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's where we'll stop, I think. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any like any planning or, or whatever you want to do, that's cool. But that's um... yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I would just be looking in on Kyra, talking about the things we talked about. Mm -hmm. um, She's kid, what is pulling the ship? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Things happened. <laughs> It'll kind of explain what happened. We're going to talk um, about this in depth next session. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, and then I will be preparing in the future to contact Demetria and tell her, hey, we're coming. Uh, Your grandpa sent us help on us. <laughs> uh, he's just, like, under the water, just, like, like playing with a toy ship, just, like... <laughs> 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 Um, the, 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 the realization of how insanely large Kentamain ha must be is like maybe starting to sink in for your characters. Um, <laughs> yeah. who, knows, who knows how deep this water is and like, they, you know, uh, yeah, Kentamain is, is large. Um, oh, oh yeah. man. Um, okay. Well, uh. Any uh, any shout outs for uh, a cool moment or a, 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 a role play instance or anything? I, I appreciated uh, Theogenes' uh, killing blow on the sea serpent. That was pretty great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I just the, the spike no. that he did. The psychic glance. Me. Yes. Yeah, that, that <laughs> changed the flow of the fight completely. Yeah. That was the idea. <laughs> <laughs> and like the fact that you had the pocketed roll to like ensure that it's uh, failed to save, I think was really cool too. It's like it. Yeah. It probably would have failed, but it would have really sucked if it didn't. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I, I thought the ballistas were going to be used in the uh, the serpent fight, but like, I mean, they were. They're all empty. <laughs> they were. They were. Um, I, I will tell you, they were. They would have done a lot of damage to that serpent, though. Uh, Serpent actually had vulnerability against siege weapons. Huh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hey. Well, we That's a... we taught its neck about it. <laughs> you did. I mean, you shot it after it was dead, so <laughs> it went it went clean through. It it sure did. <laughs> um, so you would have found out if you had shot it. I would have told you. You know, it did like double damage, but. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, you know, you guys were in a pinch uh, up at the front of the ship, and I think Shade did the the totally reasonable thing of, of uh, <laughs> you know, rushing forward to try to help. So either we can shoot this every other round, or <laughs> right, Sentinel, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, um. Yeah. Uh, Either I can attack this thing once every two rounds, or six times in one round. <laughs> That's true. I, I yes. well, actually, I am curious because, like, if the ballista does, what is it, three, three D ten? Um, it's like to say sixty ten damage. So like, um, mm -hmm. That's a lot of damage. It's That's a lot. Oh, 30. oops. Yeah, but like you're saying, like six attacks from Shade definitely does more damage than that. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, maybe that was the the smart call. Um, uh, yeah, if they were all loaded and ready to go, you know, but we could have gotten four shots off with them mm -hmm. and then had a result of melee range. Then that would have been different. It, but... it basically was like if one of you happened to be using a ballista, it would have been like. A reward for that, but um, yeah. yeah. Now we know. Load all the ballistas when we're not in combat. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you didn't really have a break between the ships and the right. The um, yeah. Um, no, I I just I was like I was in the car like a couple days ago, and I'm like, why not just have actual Kentamane show up, right? Like I. <laughs> Because I, I, I was just like, oh, there's a storm behind them. Like, that's narratively imposing. And then I'm like, no, Kentamane is actually out there, like, chasing them. And, like, and they don't, maybe don't realize it. And, uh, and then, like, yeah, like, you get a chance to, like, talk to this Elder Titan, basically. So, um, yeah. I'm like, why not? Why not? And it's not like, it, I was like, they're probably going to try to fight it a little bit. Um, no, that <laughs> wouldn't go well. <laughs> and that's why I had it stop the ship outright. It's like that's a pretty, that's a pretty strong idea of what it can do, you know. Um, oh yeah. So okay, cool. Um, what should we name it? <laughs> uh, bucket of ketamine. <laughs> bucket, of, <laughs> bucket of ketamine. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with that. Will, will I get? Will it get? I mean, uh, can, I, can I name it that? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I still like the the problem. <laughs> the the problem, like all caps, yeah. Um, or 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 my other uh, idea of combining a little bit of it. Wrong side of the problem. <laughs> wrong side of the problem. Um. Uh, Those are my contribution. That's my contribution. Craig so already contributed the problem. <laughs> okay, so we have um. Uh, on the wrong side of the problem. 
Any other suggestions before I uh, create a little roll here? Um, judgment of the Profane. Ooh, that's dark and I like it. Um, uh, a sneaky snake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a snake. Oh, it's a snake. <laughs> snake? 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 Um, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be my one. Sneaky snake. Um, okay. <laughs> Who wants... Please somebody roll a, D, a, a, a D5. The problem, all caps. Perfect. I like it. I like it. Okay. It's fitting. It is fitting. Fallen and rolled it. Oh man. 